didn't want to be bullied. If you don't want to be bullied, you shouldn't have been a nerd. I can't believe you, oh, you called a nerd and deserved to be bullied. I can't believe this. <laughs> oh, that's not the word I heard. Listen, I'm going to I'm going to hit you with one of the ultimate truths. Are you ready for this? Yeah, let's go. You either you either knew the Naruto running kid or you were the Naruto running kid. I mean, I'll, and I'll, I'll do you one better, Monty. Uh-huh. I was the vice president of the Naruto running kids. <laughs> I was, I, was the, I was the president of the college Naruto running kids. <laughs> God, we had, we had. We are fighting, dreamer. Well, this is just like. <laughs> Bro, I'm, I'm just a kid who I have, to go home at the end of the day. Listen, all right. I have I tried four... it once to see if it made you faster. I have four horror words for you. Mm -hmm. Middle school anime club. Yeah, no, same. Yeah, big yeah. same, except college. Yeah. It, it's, and, it gets worse. Uh, so all, all this is telling me is that I'm the least nerd out of all of you. Yeah, that's no. correct. No, you're not. No, Bosco, Bosco you're a different Bosco, shut up. You do nerd. anime. I don't want to hear you're it. You're also a sports <laughs> No, no, no. Hold on. Whoa. I work on anime. I've worked on more shows than I've watched. Bosco, you are a sports nerd. You are still a nerd just about <laughs> sports. See, don't make just... homebrew. I just went straight home to go do my homework and go to sleep because I had a three-hour commute the next day. Zito may make homebrew, Bosco, but Zito cannot tell me the entire starting lineup of the 1996 Chicago Bulls on December 12th like you can. So I think to you be beat fair, Zito. in 96, most of them didn't have injuries until 97 or 98. Wait, so that hold starting on. lineup didn't change very much. Point for Who wears glasses? I do. Uh, I do. All right, nerds. There we go. Done. Uh, no, I'm. I'm Monty. I'm... I'm sorry. Monty, do I, I need have to, to retell the story about how my cornea was cut in half on contact lenses? Sorry, I'm just being. Also, I'm you. Tall. I'm so tall. I have to wear glasses to see you short people down there. So, <laughs> bitch, I'm five eleven. I don't want to hear it. You have so glasses short. too. <laughs> we both have glasses because we're tall. That's the rule. What you know, Monty, I, uh, I, I, feel, I, I, I feel the I feel the explosive itch to cast Fireball three times in this town. This just, this energy is haunted tonight. My favorite my favorite thing is just like I think at one point I was like I was getting riled up and I said, yeah, it's like whatever. You're like five foot sixty four or whatever. I don't care. <laughs> five foot excuse that me. That is not how numbers work. I know, I know. Connor, please take us away <laughs> so we can start on even, time. That's not even Canadian I feel like right now. I can't believe y'all said that's, that's the D and D way to keep a creature medium sized. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the Unexpectables, everybody. We're, Yay! Uh, we're, we're feeling very judgmental tonight. <laughs> uh, which is fitting, uh, given what happened last session. Yeah. Uh, well, there's a lot of judging going on. Yeah, fuck the UOC. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, just one more bit. If I if if I was doing these measurements like Monty did, I would be 19 feet 87 <laughs> on my birthday. <laughs> oh my god. Oh wait, that's my year I was born. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. God. So, well, guys, you can do the thing. Okay. Uh, hey everyone, uh, Gaijin Goombas here. Find me on Twitch. No H because Connor jokes. Um, <laughs> I finally, I finally streamed Hell Divers, and Jesus, that game is like ten out of ten. I have oh, no boy. qualms. The 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 only listen the bad things about the game uh th look the devs didn't expect twenty times the player base that rolled in you know, yeah that's a, and it was, that's a Todd was, Howard thing so no, that, that, that was a that was a Sony decided oh yeah by the way no one's gonna care about this game so we'll make it free for everyone on PlayStation Network over the weekend whoopsie what? doops <laughs> uh, so yeah that was a whole heck of a lot of fun I definitely want to do more of that more skag and frag uh, for Quake 2 at some point um, I know everybody's talking to me about am I going to play Ronin when it comes up I don't know I don't know if it's worth getting a PS5 specifically for another Jiminy Cockthroat game um, yeah. but uh, no like uh, I'm, I'm working on a new video I'm <laughs> I'm talking about the history's first Yandere and and how the very genre itself has evolved since 19 or no not even 9 9 6 to modern day and how it relates to our own concepts of Romeo and Juliet uh it's going to be a wild one hopefully that will be out this Saturday weekend 
If not earlier next week, yes. Wherefore art thou, Baka? <laughs> <laughs> you joke, but you joke, but. Uh, so no, it's been good. Uh, I'm still on my stupid orc crap. Uh, I had to take a break from it uh, in order to work on the uh, main channel, but more will be coming from that, such as why anybody can like soaps. Uh, but aside from that, yeah, I'm just kind of doing my thing. Right on. I suppose uh, up next we've got Mark Allen Jr. Where can they find you? What are you up to? You can find me on Twitter and Blue Sky at Mark Allen Jr. Here on Twitch at Aeon Pro Tech Gaming. Follow me on uh, TikTok at Mark Allen Jr. VA. And, of course, you can find my fat cat bunny, who is in a lot of trouble this weekend, on Instagram uh -oh. at chonk for life um, I haven't talked about this show in a very, very long time, but there's a little radio play uh, called Geek by Night that's been running for almost 10 years. Um, you should definitely check it out. Uh, I got to return as the ire recently, and uh, the most recent episode had a pretty, pretty shocking twist. Um, some cool voice work stuff that I'm very excited about. And uh, next week I will I will be a little bit more spoilery about it. So this is your fair warning. Um, if you watch or listen to the show this week, then next week uh, you won't be spoiled. So uh, that that's your one week warning. Other than that, uh, yeah, streams are happening when they happen. This weekend, I will be able to do my three-hour music challenge stream on Sunday instead of Saturday, like last week. So come on by. We'll spin a wheel, get a genre, make some music. It'll be fun. That's it for me. Zito. I passed the baton to Christopher Zito. Zito. Zito, that was for you. I I know. I'm making you suffer. Hi, you can find me over it. <laughs> You can make me over at Twitch. Not make me over. Oh my god, I'm tired. You can find me over at Twitch. You know, make over. Let's go. Yeah, make over. Make <laughs> over for you, Abby. Rats. Rats really got to you, huh? Damn. <laughs> I, I've been lingering on that for fucking two years, I guess. Uh, <laughs> you can find me over at twitch.tv slash Zito, where I'm playing indie games and the whatnot. I've, I've been fucking waist high in lethal company modding so if you want to see some new random shit thrown into a game that's already chock full of random scary shit it'd be funny uh beyond that i like making money over my principles so i'm back to doing homebrew for 5e and uh the next one will be a big uh a big players uh a big uh player race uh supplement that is based off of a lot of stuff that I've been working on for the past two years. So uh, that'll be on my Patreon, which will be on the shop, uh, which, by the way, my Patreon has a shop full of stuff that uh, I've made before, uh, because Kofi, no one fucking uses it. And I'm just like, all right, well, I'll move it over to the thing that people know that I'm working on stuff. So, yeah, that's it. I, I, will, I will post a picture in chat showing the, the progress Very good. Very Used. good. Up next, we've got Edward Bosco. Where can they find you and what are you up to? Find me at Ed Bosco V on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. I'm right here on twitch.tv slash Edward Bosco, where last night we got all the skulls. We're going to actually do this. Halo 5 Lasso starts next week. Hooray. I'm so Can't sorry wait. for your loss. Yeah. yeah don't. We haven't no. even started. I'm so sorry for your gain. <sighs> no. No. Thursday is Throwback Thursday, though. I'm not sure what we'll be playing tomorrow because we've been going through Tomb Raider, but we're going to take a one-week pause because the collective of people we've been playing it with won't be there. So I'll figure something out. Friday, more wrestling. Friday Night Flashbang. If you ever wanted to see a Mandalorian kick the crap out of a werewolf, that's the place you could do it. Uh, Saturday is going to be more Yakuza Like a Dragon. Will we finish the game? Who knows? We're too busy trying to get ladies. Also, Boulder's Gate. Sure. That's a thing. You should come check it out. We've been having a lot of fun in the Grunge Bunch. If you don't know what that is, check out the YouTube channel and check out this channel right here that you're on immediately. Uh, Sunday is the Lord's Day of Rest. Leave me alone. I might be grieving the trade of my quarterback. We'll see. Monday is Mass Effect Mondays. We might have some d d If not, I'll figure out something to do in the evening. And then, uh, yeah, that's it. Very nice. Next, we've got Monty Glue. Where can they find you? What are you up to? Hi. I just want to say um, a little sad thing, a little, little sad aside. 
Um, for those of you who know him, unfortunately, Minmo passed away last week. Um, and I know a lot of people really enjoyed him, um, but he was ancient. <laughs> um, he was calculating it. He was like 85 years old in hamster years. He was he was old. Um, so unfortunately, rest in peace, Minmo. We love you. He was my little guy, but um, you know, I'm sad, but can't be too sad. Um, so unfortunately, that meant last week we were not able to do the follow up stream. Um, for the Draco Marathon stream on Sunday. So Draco and I will be streaming tomorrow. Um, Draco will be designing our call of his government mandated persona, and I will be having to shiny hunt nose pass for, I think I have 13 of them I have to catch. Yay. What kind of care package can we send you, Monty? I almost said something, but I'm not going to say that on online. <laughs> <laughs> Um, the sweet brace of death, maybe. Oh, God. That's better than what you were gonna say. I, uh, God. Um, but Friday uh, should be hopefully the finale of Hildebrand for a Realm Reborn. Um, we have our final little chapter there, and then Monday uh, we have more Mass Effect. I I met a woman who I want to become when I'm like forty years old. So you know, thank you, Mass that? Effect too. Um, Samara? Is her name Samara? Bosco, help me out here, man. What was her name? Samara, huh? Was Samara. it Samara? Yeah, that was yeah. Right. I, don't, I don't know why you're confused, yeah. Dude, she showed up, fuck, armbarred a girl, flew in the air like a, like a swan diver, and then killed a person with her stiletto. I want to be that. Well, in 900 well, you years, you, be that when you can 40. achieve that. Dang. Yeah. But yes, that is that is everything for Monty me. Monty specifically All... said she wants to turn into Monty when she or mommy when she's forty. <laughs> um, you can follow me on YouTube. Same name. Um, yeah, there you go. That's all for me. Excellent. Uh, I suppose that just leaves me. And they can find me on Twitter, Twitch, YouTube, Tumblr, and Blue Sky at Distortion Devil. I stream Tuesdays, Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays. Uh, when I'm not taking care of a pair of puppies. Uh, that now have free reign of the house. Are they still under a year old? Uh, they are going to be a year old next month, I think. Uh-oh. Oh, no right. more puppy time. Yeah. And they're, they're getting an early birthday present that is exploring more of the house. <laughs> being, being trusted to not chew on my expensive electronics. That's terrifying. They've, they've been good so far. But I'm watching them. It's a matter of time. And it's Don't only a matter of time. That. Don't. Well, why would you curse yourself that way? Because I own dogs. What's the worst that life. could happen? Um. Well, the worst could happen is uh, the thousands of dollars of equipment is ruined. Yeah. Ah, true. Anyway, uh, we wrapped up Deus Ex, uh, both Mankind Divided and the series on Sunday, and it looks as though that the next series I'm going to be playing for my Sunday games is going to be Darksiders. Oh! I, I'm very Let's excited uh, to watch Liam O'Brien grumble through the wasteland <laughs> once again. <laughs> the seventh seal is not broken. Uh, but yes, I'm uh, excited for that. Very cool. Uh, in a lot of ways, I consider it to be the spiritual successor to the Legacy of Cain that is not Dead House Sonata. The action RPG replays the, the fight to Ludwig. Um, and uh, yeah, it's going to be cool going through those games again. Uh, also, probably going to be wrapping up Yakuza Like a Dragon either this week or next. I've been grinding off streams so that I can I can get with all the ladies. I beg your pardon? True. Did, yeah, did you yep. know that you need exactly 22 million yen to hook up with a lady? Com completionist run involves being yeah. a, a philanderous uh, two-timer. Can't believe I'm mm -hmm. in a video game. Whoa. What? I'm just what? joking. I'm just Whoa, joking. all right. Monty? All right. <laughs> <laughs> We've won. Apparently, Monty has worked exactly 22 million yen. Oh, I thought that was dollar. <laughs> I can't believe you. <laughs> no, I said. Yikes! You you unlock oh, the boy. secrets to, to sleeping with any woman you want, which is buying her exactly sixteen. Flowers. Oh, I I thought okay, I, I I'm talking. 
boy, Monty, you missed the train. Really, on that it one. walked right I into really that did. one. Yeah. Yeah. Time for yeah. everyone to pull out their conversion calculators to figure out how much Monty thinks she is worth. How much I mean, I know. I think that Do you was want it in joking. U.S. or Canadian? I thought I thought you were talking about like the host club. Like you need to hang out with a woman, and you need nope. to pay that amount to hang out with her. Nope. And I completely misinterpreted that entirely, and I'm very hey, sorry. Hey, Monty. Monty. Yep. How much is that in Electrum? I am gonna. Oh. Uh, <laughs> so Monty, just so you know, you, you're worth under two hundred thousand dollars Canadian. Oh, I'm worth like so much more than that. <laughs> Well, not according to you. Uh, according to Monty Blue, she's worth 197450 Canadian dollars. Uh, as about, also, check out my DMs Guild. I released this edition <laughs> there as well. Uh, this episode is also brought to you in part by Die Hard Dice. Oh, shit. Where are my Die Hard Dice? Uh, I'm not sure. You better find them. Okay, you have lost to get them. that out. I've been get another pair at dieharddice.com. Code unexpectable to save ten percent on your order. Do not buy the lies aspect dice. They're out. You can't. So you can't. You, can. you physically buy can't. Them. However, if you were to break into the Die Hard Dice warehouse and, st um, well, Monty. sorry, Monty, you you've dug enough holes. Let's let's ease off. You're on some <laughs> gremlin energy today, Monty. <laughs> I'm you need it. to say in Fortnite. God, sorry. <laughs> I thought it was in Minecraft. No, they, they no, caught on they, to that one. They yeah, caught on to Minecraft. We moved over to Fortnite. Uh, okay. It's Minecraft either Fortnite or you have to go Roblox. God, if they get rid of Fortnite, we're going to have to go to Terraria, and that's just going to... Oh, man. Also, wait, did they say the code? Use code on Expectables to save 10% on your order when you shop at DieHardDice.com. Also, check out our merch store. We're probably going to be releasing more designs in... Coming soon. I need to talk to people about the gateway thing. Yeah. But uh, yeah, definitely going to be more designs happening in the new year. Um, we also couldn't do this week in, week out without bits and subs from viewers like you. Busy subs. Uh, let me scroll down to the. Oh, there's not a ton of them. Uh, Dax99, thank you for the 16 month or the four, 47 months, rather. Zacho Duo, thank you for the 47 months. Ahoy hoy. Sam X1, thank you for the 39 months. Another episode down. I have the flu. I'm very sorry. Oh, I hope he's a little better. Mm. Lord Commissar Manslaughter, thank you for the 43 months. Let's go. Revenge Rist, thank you for the 34 months of Prime. Earliest Bread, thank you for the 47 months. Bill MSU, thank you for the 45 months. Dice Ruler, thank you for the 4 bits. Let's go. I've been waiting for this. Mad Monk Montague, thank you for the 37 months. Diana Hatter, thank you for the five months of Prime. I'm here after many months. How are you all doing? I've been watching from the first episodes of Campaign 1 to pass the time. Oh my goodness. Old, old episodes. Uh, back, when, back when my Yeti mic, it was awful. Oh back boy. when you were just a, a young baby, Monty. I had oh, terrible anxiety. Uh... Bill Lane, thank you for the 27 months. 27 months, got my favorite jerky and my favorite D&D stream. Ooh, jerky sounds good. Wolfwing Pup, thank you for the 8 bits. Oh, spill the tea. Cup of Squid, thank you for the 39 months. Solar Misfit, thank you for the 23 months. Almost two years, that's 14 months, and that's great. Emerald Bandit, thank you for the 200 bits. Keeping myself awake for the last hour of work with you. Awesome. Stay awake. Don't fall asleep. Or you're fired! The Real Grey Beast. Thank you for the 19 months. The vibes are off to a good start. Irish Katana. Thank you for the 1,100 bits. I know a group name your character can go by. Unfortunately, I can't tell you, but I'll give you a hint. It's something you've already called yourselves. Hmm. I've got an idea for a group name, but uh, it's going to come up naturally. And also thank you for the 42 months. Mikan Pachi, think of the 20 bits. Me and Gaijin are both 5'11", have the same first name, are both VTubers, and both remember the glory that is Tenchi Muyo, but only one of us has a hot life. Feels bad, man. I remember Tenchi Muyo. And Tenchi Muyo remembers you. Mm -hmm. Draconian 9, think of the 43 months. Mark. Like Tabuya, thank you for the 47 months. 
I've got a cold, so thank you for keeping me company and entertaining me while I recuperate. Aww. Lord Servitor, thank you for the 100 bits. Gonna start streaming for the first time this weekend. Wish me luck. Good luck. Good luck. It's doggy dog world out there. Good luck. Good luck. More Thrandor, thank you for the 300 bits. I had my wisdom teeth removed days ago. Feeling grumpy, you make me feel better. Aw, shucks. Skench the Knoll Barbarian, thank you for the 47 months. Centaur Cry, thank you for the four months. Proto Saber, thank you for the 35 months. Ah, shoot, I missed the pre ramble bit. Don't worry, it was weird. Dumb. Poindexter, thank you for the 35 months of Prime. Z Man Stardust, thank you for the 100 bits. Good luck tonight. See you in the VOD. Work has to be preoccupied. Grout on Night, thank you for the 10 bits. Callum Draws, thank you for the 10 bits. Excited to see our heroes. Brave the Dragon. Oh, and also the main party, I guess. You know, you can go fuck yourself. Mm. Whoa, whoa, Bosco. Easy I'll now. Fight, I'll fight you. Ya boy, Asriel. Thank you for the four, or the nine months, rather. Crusty Stars. Thank you for the 20 months. So, who has two thumbs and just bought 120 bucks worth of expect Unexpectables merch? Good gravy. <laughs> I suppose that's you. Trav No Guard. Thank you for the 31 months. Also, thank you for the support. Uh... Blue Rinzu, thank you for the 38 months of Prime. Best use of Bezos Twitch Bucks three years running. Indeed. Bubba Bob, thank you for the 41 months. Guys, it's a redacted dragon. Otter with a machete, thank you for the 300 bits. Callum Draws, thank you for the uh, 10 bits. We're in it now! Uh, Mega Waffles, thank you for the 10 bits. This will be my last live watch for a while. I'm changing my schedule. Let's have fun hunting a dragon. Let's sad to see you go. We love you, though. We'll always, our VODs are always free. Mm -hmm. uh, Killer Chansey, thank you for the 10 bits. Monty, in the beginning, anxious wreck. Monty, now I'm worth at least $200,000. <laughs> <laughs> no, $200,000 Canadian, there. not American. It's yeah, different. specify. So it's yeah, worth she's not even less. worth 150,000 American. Yeah, you're under 150,000 American. Sorry. Uh, Messenger of Chaos, thank you for the 2K bits. To be clear, no one from the Unexpectables knows anything about the Die Hard heist. Wait, what? The what? Wait a minute. The well, what? now we know. Hang on. No, That's we don't. That's a good name, though. Plausible deniability. We know nothing about it. it might be a one shot. Who knows? Uh. Hmm. Um, <laughs> hang on, I'm making sure I'm reading this right. You got it? Uh, and and finally, thank you for the one bit from Unch Bears Eat Daisies. Okay. Just says, wow. wow. Monty friend, I guess. I was I... going to say, the Flower Eaters convention is in town. Oh, leave me alone, man. I've been... <sighs> Let me hear it. All right, yeah. well... <laughs> Money, maybe you shouldn't have been a nerd, then you wouldn't get bullied. Mm, yes, yeah. This, this, this posing is quite delicate. Yes, indeed. Mm, mm. Mm, mm, mm. I do enjoy the delicious rose this season. Mm. I'm gonna the kill all of you with a dragon deals. tonight. Mm. Martha, clutch my pearls from me. This, I must find my. Is this a 23 Daisy? Mm. Okay, shush, shush, all you. Let's do the intro. Let's go. Oh, come on. I'm smiling. I swear right now. Don't bully me.
So, when last we left our heroes, Kai, the human wizard, Iskan, the lizard folk druid, Otho, the shifter rogue, Milo, the Azamar cleric, and Gaius, the satyr fighter, the party is seaside, enticed by the mystery of a strange yellow dragon harrying the nearby coastal hamlet of Kutchner's Cove. The party chartered a boat from their old friend, Polite Pete. After a few days of rain, a close encounter of a fishy kind, and a sudden wail of an ogre and goblin ambush, the party found themselves in the desolated town of Kutcher's Cove. To their surprise, however, another group of adventurers, the Radiant Slayers, had also made their way to defend the populace from the mysterious Yellow Dragon. Now, as they take stock of their quarry and set their sights towards a mage vault, we return to the Unexpectables. Some nice ambience here. Prince Ali, fabulous he. Ali, no, 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 not Disney. Anything but no. Disney. Oh. Every day they're out there make. Oh wait, that's <laughs> that what don't they own? Disney. No, no, that's no. That's all right. Wait, hold on. Now I'm now I'm sad. Hang on. I'm sad, dude. Right. <laughs> You. All right. So as you all sit inside of the Steve tavern, Willie safe, right? Uh, actually, it's it's public domain. It I saw it. John Oliver guys. has one. <laughs> Sorry. As you all sit inside of the tavern after speaking with not only the Radiant Slayers but the mayor of Kutchner's Cove, uh, what would you all like to do? I just realized I don't have my Martirala book, so talk amongst yourselves. Okay. Um, okay. So um, who has the highest? Uh, attack roll. Me. <laughs> Just, if, if we wanted to punch Bart in the face, who would have the best chance of hitting him? Oh. Really Homer. Probably Homer. Probably Gaius. Probably okay, Gaius. I got you. Hold on. Why, you little... There, <laughs> there you go. Perfect. <laughs> Show you can... Perfect. Let, let me just jump into light fierce. It's a command you grab. You win. Oh, man. <laughs> Do you like right. water with no ice? <laughs> Oak Bard is a command grab. <laughs> so as you all kind of sit there, uh, enjoying the drink from the now empty tavern, uh, kind of reviewing the information of which you've been provided of this strange dragon and its eclectic behavior. What is your plan? Uh, to, to go to the maze. <laughs> well... Uh, yeah. Before we do that, I think it, I'm speaking above game right now. Uh -huh. After we've <laughs> been told that like pestilence is kind of a big thing here, maybe we should like find any sort of supply or materials that could aid us in you know not getting sick. You have. I feel like if they would have anything, you. they would have been using it already. It doesn't sound like they were very oh, well prepared. It, no, oh, oh no! Oh oh no! Listen, Mark, don't don't get it backwards. I know you guys have capabilities to do that, but what if we get separated? What if shit goes south? And if you we get guys separated, you're just going to die. But Hold that on not to with your thing. exit, buddy. <laughs> Follow the illuminated path towards the nearest exit. This plant sucks. <laughs> yeah, well, maybe you should do, have brought more torches. Do they have any layout of the Mage Fault at all? They don't know about the Mage Fault. They don't no. know about the Mage Fault. Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. <laughs> Then honestly, the only thing we know, we know Warm Tongue was over there about a year and a half ago. <laughs> we know that there's a dragon, and we know the location of the Mage Vault. That's would all you guys got. like your Motorola map just to take a look at it? Yeah, sure. Yeah, like, sure. What what other option do we have besides going maybe scouting a little bit before well, we, we all approach in mass? We, we know the dragon went north, correct? And the northeast, Mage Vault is northeast, east northeast. So it's like yes. mostly east east. Um. So, East Gun has a is, is map of this it? area. Is, I was going to say, is yes. it the hut, Monty? That is it. That, is it. that, that okay. seems to be the direction okay, that they've cool. kind of stayed. So, it's two days travel. East Gun has a map of this area because we did get a map of all of Martorallo. It's not super mm -hmm. detailed, but we know for sure there's a river about a day and a half to the north. Mm -hmm. um, and so, any place where the dragon might go 
there's nothing, that, at least on his map, that appears to be a, a dragon keep other than the mage vault. So if we wanted to look for the dragon, that would probably be the best place to find him. I my my vote above game is to go straight to the mage vault because not only could we potentially get intel if that is the dragon thing the the nest we could also just take care of that while it's hopefully not around which would be great yeah i'm with it um especially <laughs> if this thing thinks that the dra the the mage keep is its horde or something crazy like that we don't want to have to fight this thing so getting in and out before it's back would be great Guys, in an now five minute adventure. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> looking, looking uh, over, be a total milk run. Looking over to the the radiant slayers, uh, my just kind of peeks up. So, will you be joining us, or will we stay behind to protect the uh, the rest of the town? Uh, Bartholomew kind of leans over and goes, "Oh, we must stay behind to protect the people. That's what we've been doing here this whole time." He nods but solemnly. If you're willing to go out and perhaps find a lead, that would be most appreciated. I think we might have an idea of where to look, so... In the case that you die horribly, I'm just saying, it's always a possibility in this line of work, um, would you be too remiss to tell us where this location might be? Eastkin kind of looks around at the group. Um, Milo? I think... <laughs> Go ahead. Go ahead. I was, no, was, was going to say, Milo gestures to, to Eastkin like he is the map guy. <laughs> Uh, I would recommend for your safety that you didn't know where these were, not just because of the dragon, but because there's a lot of other people that want these, and the less you know, it's the safer. Uh, Bartholomew gives out a big, boisterous laugh, and he kind of looks to his companions, uh, and they also start laughing a little bit. Uh, Gigi, the halfling, uh, fox-like druid, kind of wipes her eyes and goes, Oh, these guys don't know the legends! They don't know who you are, Bartholomew. I thought that people from these lands would at least know of their prophecy. What? Prophecy? Beg pardon. Uh, Bartholomew kind of waves his hand and goes, Oh, I don't want to burden you with it. It's, it's not. And immediately Gigi stands up on the table and raves as a tankard and goes, You stand before Bartholomew Bastion, destined slayer of the great one eyed demon. It has been prophesied by the stars and the gods who sent him to this land. She swings back at <laughs> Ale. Slowly cocks an <laughs> eyebrow up. We all just look I was just other. laughing. <laughs> East guy's blinking one eye at a time. Gaius remains neutral as ever. <laughs> Bar Bartholomew learn, uh -huh. like turns towards you, Milo, and kind of nudges you and goes, mm -hmm. for traveling with an Azimar, they certainly don't know much about divine prophecy. I mean, <sighs> divine oh, prophecy is, is nice and all, but I don't know. It, it may not be such a good idea to become so overhyped. You might lose track of who you are and, and the better reasons you could be using Oh, it. I know precisely who I am and the man I need to become to save the people. All the people? Yes, of course. All the people. Oh, boy. Um, he, often. He... So, pray, what is this one-eyed demon, then? He looks just directly at him. It is said to be birthed from the earth in a time of great darkness. That it alone may scour across the land and boil the very seas. It will grow in power as, it's, as it stalks across the material plane. But my destiny is to arrive upon its emergence and stop it from rising up into the material realm, lest it ravage the land. And that is why we intend to head to Centralia, but we got a bit waylaid because people were in need. I'm sure you can understand why that would be of great interest to us, as it is a massive crack into the abyss. Uh, I have we... a technical question. Certainly. <clears throat> you said you're destined to arrive when it shows up? Yes. So does that mean if we keep you here, it'll never show up? No, no. If I fail in my duty and it emerges, then it will consume the world. I cannot laze about and let things happen, but I also cannot abandon people who have need of help. What type of Azamar would I be? Wouldn't that go directly against what the prophecy says, then? The prophecy says, 
it's not so much that my appearance is going to dictate the emergence of this demon, but that I alone will meet it on the battlefield and slay it. Okay, well, I'll tell you what. If we happen to run into any one-eyed dragons, we can let you know. But Demon. Whatever. Um, I don't think that's the case. And since the dragon is not a one-eyed demon, unless there's something we're missing, it's probably better that you don't get your stuff stomped in. So we'll keep you posted. <laughs> that, is, that is fair. He kind of takes a swig of the drink. You know, hey. we'll remain here and defend the townsfolk. You intend to scout ahead? That would be most appreciative. Um, Iskan, your name was, correct? Uh, yes. If you consent to it, I would like to see your map. If we can better defend the direction that this dragon is coming from, we have a better chance of setting up a watch and ensuring that the people get inside their homes before it uh, assails. Above game question for you, Monty? Yeah. Given that we only have a basic idea of where the mage vault is, would it be safe to... To, to say that there's just like an icon there with no real description of what it is? Yeah, yeah, okay. more or less. You just marked it. Okay, so given that it is somewhat ambiguous, uh, he cool. will happily share his map with the group. Uh, Gigi unrolls her map, which you see now is, it's not like, how do I describe it? Her map, as she rolls it out, it's not as like accurate as you. She clearly doesn't have the tools. But there's something about the simplicity and just the directness of her map that is almost beautiful. Like, it's accurate, but the way that it's painted is, it's more painted than it is, like, cartographered out. Mm. And wow. she kind of makes a note of it and rolls it back up and kind of tucks it into her jacket. That's, um, uh, that's a really nice map. Thanks. It's got a little bit of charm. I like yours. It's very accurate. Uh, thanks. That's kind of my whole thing, actually. You know, you can sell maps to people, too. Well, this one's not really complete yet, so... Still, even a map of a nearby region can sell for money. You would not believe the bank I have made selling maps from forests to uh, hunters and other outsiders. That's how I made my coin before meeting Bartholomew. Bartholomew just waves. I guess that does make a lot of sense. Might we uh, we don't stay in places too long uh, lately, but certainly something to think about. Thanks. She kind of gives you a wink and then steps off the table because she's standing on top of it. <laughs> she, did she just, like, plop down on the yeah. table to oh, write yeah. on the map? <laughs> like, like on her stomach, like, girls doing their nails at a sleepover. Oh, my gosh. Bartholomew kind of places his tankard upside down now that it's empty and goes, we'll hold down the fort here. If you have any need of us, um, we'll be here. If you die horribly, we will try and find your bodies. And what if you die horribly? Oh, we won't. Milo squints. The fry squint yeah. at him. Kai's going to give him a rock eyebrow. <laughs> he he kind of leans over to, to Crow, the tiefling, and goes, I feel like I'm not making a very good first impression. And Crow just kind of shrugs at him. It just goes, hmm. I'll just say this, Bartholomew. The world has a very interesting time change in plans. Looks to literally just to everyone else around. To, to, to the group. Ah, the more to be vigilant, then. I understand. He nods. Well, may Vetrion guide your path and stay your blades true. Yeah. <laughs> you got it, Chief. Gaius, the only what? one with blades. Yeah, Gaius <laughs> is like, <laughs> aye, aye, Captain. <laughs> what, uh, what time of day is it? Uh, at this point, you guys arrive pretty early, so it's probably, like, midday, probably, like, noon, maybe one. Would it be worth hitting the road at this point? You could, easily, yeah. I would say. <clears throat> Honestly, if you hit the road now, like, it would, I would say technically it would be one day, because you do half of the trek, and then a day of travel, and then half of a trek, which would take you there within a day, I'd say. Mm. If yeah. you leave now. Guys, I, I don't exactly feel comfortable being in this town. Uh, should we go ahead and get going? Yeah, I, I, uh, I'm good with that. Sure. 
I, I guess we'll be I'll... on our way then. Yeah. Off we go. And he kind of rolls up his map and takes the point. As you guys kind of get up, you head out of the front door of the tavern. Uh, you kind of notice down the road, um, you see uh, Daniel. Excuse me. Oh, Whoa. Um, currently just talking to some, some you know, townsfolk. Uh, who seemed just a little concerned that a bunch of well-armed people showed up randomly, and they seem to be asking him questions, and he's very neutrally answering them. But as he kind of turns and notices you, he kind of, like, looks at the people who look very nervously towards you. You see, like, Duragar Babushka lady, like, oh, hunched over... Duragar Babushka? Yeah, like, hunched over, like, really short, you know, hair done up in a bun... You know, little little sort of bandana over top, uh, and you see next to her is a human woman, maybe about like thirties, and they kind of both look in your direction and they look a little suspicious. Uh, and then Daniel is like, kind of looks at him and goes, "One minute," and just like waves to you guys, like with both arms. And as he waves, you can hear the clattering of the pans on his back. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's just like simultaneous like five like metal pipe hitting floor <laughs> yeah wav. <laughs> the entire first song performance from stomp do you guys wave back of course uh, yeah it's very if... awkwardly but yeah <clears throat> Polite. uh e scan with your perspective uh, with your uh feet i believe which is perceptive uh you see him turn back to him and go see they're friendly and they just kind of nod at him and then you watch them kind of walk away towards their homes he does another little wave at you, and then he seems to go down a different road, because he mm. was told to keep a lookout. Cool. For what it's worth, he seems to be trying to calm everybody down about us. You said the... Did, did the crowd sort of disperse? It wasn't a crowd, it was just two people who seemed to just be like, what's going on, who are these people? Mm. Yeah, you need three to be a crowd, so... <laughs> da -da 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 -da. Two's company. Yeah. If you have any questions about us, I'd be happy to field them. They're already gone. They yeah, already left. They were, they were like yeah. a road away. He yeah. says to the air. <laughs> <laughs> Guys. Uh, I guess Daniel's hearing isn't so good. Hmm. Guys, if I ever get like that, like Bartholomew, kind of obsessed with my own whatever, will, will you please slap me? Oh, that's not going to happen. I'm here. You're fine. Does that I don't think you have that in you, Milo. Does that include asking to cook in another chef's kitchen? Guy has a hand ready. <laughs> <laughs> so Guys, I have trained for this very oh, moment. Four hands just go up at the same time, answer the question. I, I, watch, I, watch, I want you to understand that it's just Gaius' hand. Its hand is like in a, like, a folded up hand motion over his head. It's like your life ends in 30 seconds sort of thing. <laughs> You better think real careful about this answer. <laughs> I'm, I right. said if, not now. Oh, uh, you, you win this day. <laughs> lowers his hand. Sheath's hand into pocket. <laughs> the sound yeah. of a fishing rod reeling in. No, it's, it's the fucking, it's, it's the sound of taking out a Glock from fucking Half-Life. You got lucky, punk. <laughs> <laughs> I All sheathed right. my hand, you get slapped two seconds later. <laughs> All right, so you guys want to head out to the mm -hmm. edge of town? All right. Yeah. As you uh, make your way uh, out of town, uh, eventually you hit what is probably their farmland, which at this point is just withered and dead. It's like aggressive autumn is the best way mm -hmm. to put it. It's not like burnt or destroyed. It just looks like it's like decaying you see like pumpkins that have just like fallen into themselves from rot all the grass you step on just crunches under your feet like a crisp autumn sort of grass does it smell at all it smells moldy like kind of like you know that sort of wet leaf smell mm. like compost mm. a bit it just makes me think it's completely everything is just devoid of chlorophyll it's very, like, brown. Like, it's very, very brown and, like, orange is the best oh, way to put it. Mm. Oh, guys, it's doom. Oh. Let's oh. go. Wait, oh. which doom? E1, it... M1. Okay. However, what is the most shocking to you as you make your way out of uh, town is, like, where 
the decay and like the greenery meet. <clears throat> Because it looks like someone, like, it, as you kind of walk into the grass, like the green grass, and then turn back, it almost looks like someone took a paintbrush and was doing, like, sort of hor uh, vertical sort of, like, paint strokes down across the village. Hmm. It, like, there does... Sorry, go ahead. It's a, is it, like, precise? Like, is there, like, a definitive end it seems like it's hard to tell because of the water. You're not sure if the water was hit or not. Hmm. But it seems like it starts from like the north, north, east, and kind of ends where the water hits. And it's like these big long strokes of decay. Well, I lead us towards our destination, avoiding the areas of decay as best I can. Like, obviously, we have to Actually, walk near it, but not through it, ideally. If they're big, long strokes of decay like this, and they're, like, pretty blatant, could I reference what I know about dragons with this to infer that this is some sort of breath weapon? Uh, that would be an Arcana check. Arcana check. I was going to ask if I could determine whether it was a breath weapon or worm tongue walking these lands a year and a half ago. It's also very localized on the village. Like, you only walk for about <clears throat> ten minutes and it stops. Got it. So it looks like a spray. Okay. I'll roll Arcana. Fuck it. Yeah. Go for it. I will also roll Arcana, even though it's not great. That's all right. East can be worse than a anything 10, about right? dragons, so... That is on there the you floor, go. but it's a 22. That's a natural 20, baby. Oh, natural crap. 20. That's really good. First of all, you kind of think of what you know about dragons and like stories your mother used to read you and just like tales that you've heard on the road from various adventures. It's not acid. It's not fire. It doesn't like maybe it could be lightning. You're not sure. It doesn't make much sense. However, as you kind of like begin to coast up a hill and look down at the at uh, Kutchner's Cove itself, there are gaps in places. You do say that there's some greenery kind of like gapped where whatever this thing was didn't really touch stuff. And you kind of, I imagine with Eastgan, maybe borrowing some of Eastgan's pen and ink if you're willing to lend it, Eastgan. I don't know. Pie. It's really expensive. <laughs> yeah, no, it's actually, fine. <laughs> you actually. With, on on that note, can I draw with the emerald pen? Does it specifically say write in its description? Let me look. It's more, this isn't really that important part, part of this. The important thing is that, you know, you use a pen. Um, it's not going to take up any ink. You're just doing a sketch. And you kind of like figure out that it's like a paint stroke. But it actually is more of a cone. Oh. And at one point you see there's sort of this, this trail off kind of further to the right of where you're looking. And you realize it's like a triangular cone. And it looks like it could be about 60 feet. Important note. Put that that is what your natural 20 gets you. Hmm. You're not sure what type of breath weapon this is. You have no idea, but you know that whatever it is, is a 60 foot cone. Oh, so it sort of does like that, that thing where he's squinting and there's the numbers and math equations <laughs> in the foreground. Well, we should be careful about staying about 60 feet away from it. Should we find it? I'm not sure what it breeds, but it feet? breeds 60 feet is about from, oh uh, give, or, give or take, 60 feet. It's my best guess, given the evidence on the floor here. That's a huge amount of range. I mean, if it's up to me, maybe we stay kilometers away from the dragon. What the fuck is a my kilometer? My hope is we don't even run into it, if I'm being perfectly honest. If we do, we're in big trouble. 
Well, we're here looking for big trouble, unfortunately. We also I don't. We were looking for the mage vault. We also My don't hope know. Is we get to the mage vault and maybe find a hint about the dragon and don't have to deal with it, because I don't think any of us are equipped to deal with it. You were saying, Mister Mightbeam. Oh, that's that's fine. It's it's dumb. Hmm. As you guys travel, uh, Eskan, could you roll me a survival check for traveling, assuming you would like to be the one to do the survival check? Absolutely. May I guidance, or is it over too long a period it of time? It is over too long a period of time, okay. unfortunately. That's uh, a 14. <clears throat> 14, very good. Uh, you kind of using your, your map and the uh, the new staff that you have, actually, from yeah. Redmond, mm -hmm. uh, kind of utilizing that in your map, eventually kind of find your way forward. You have, a, you have a good feeling that you're on your way. However, as night begins to dim, you all set up tents for the night. Uh, you gain the benefits of a long rest, if you haven't already. Yay. Hongshu, Hongshu. Uh, temp yeah, HP for yeah. myself, Gaius, and Iskin. Ooh. Thank you. Danka. I'm going Damn. to... Damn, foil begin. Nice, okay. Uh, as you guys wake up the following morning, uh, it is warm. It's also a little bit gusty. Um, again, Martorala is not well known for its trees, and it has very rolling hills, which carries the wind quite well. Um... But luckily, the wind seems to be in a more favorable direction. Is you're not like walking against the wind, um, but it does kind of billow the hair and kind of tosses you about. You begin to travel, and I would like one more survival check from you, Eskan. Soft twenty. Nice. Nice. As you guys are traveling. You kind of find a more flat spot, uh, and East End, you kind of find a rock just to kind of, you know, unfold your map and kind of have people hold it down so it doesn't blow away with this wind. You've kind of triangulated where this should be, and yet it's strange. Usually when you find a mage vault, there's a door, but you don't see a door anywhere. But you have a really good sense that this is where it should be. All right. I mean, we should be here. I would I like the rest of the group to roll a perception check, please. Or investigation me, of their choice. I will do uh, neither of these things. Wow. Well, my perception is better than my investigation. Here I go. Perception is slightly 11. better than my investigation. 15. 11. 13. This is perfect. <laughs> As, like, Eskin's kind of scratching his head, like, looking over his maps, you know, re recalculating where you are, Gaius, as you're kind of looking around, your hooves make a clanging noise beneath you. And you're like, oh, that's weird. And as huh. you kind of look, you notice that the grass actually just stops, and there's just a sheer drop. It is a oh, massive 30-foot wide hole in the ground that you find. Oh. It's obscured by the nearby hills, but it is a 30-foot kind of a round hole that is framed with, like, rusted, curled metal. I'm getting no, Fallout 1 vibes so hard. <laughs> I know, you're a hero, and now you have to leave. The gateway references oh. are fucking on fire tonight. No wonder why you couldn't find it. He just, like, motions everyone to come over and then points down. As the rest of you, I assume, join Gaius near this mm -hmm, mm -hmm. thing. As you look down, it just, it goes to darkness. You can't even see the bottom. That would have been bad to stumble across. Uh, let me try something. Uh, I'm gonna find a pebble or rock that is fist size. I would like to cast light on it and then drop it in the hole. Okay. As you drop it, <laughs> you hear a splash. Oh! And the light disappears. Ooh. You can see it just faintly, but it's clearly obscured by, by water. Mm. However, I would say because, Milo, you, all of you are pretty smart, whatever water depth that is, that is not going to sustain jumping into that. You cannot cannonball that shit if you can see the light. 
Oh well, yeah, yeah. No. being really shallow. <laughs> well, it's. A I good have a thing. question. Oh, go ahead. No, no, no. By all means. No. Okay then. Well, it's a good thing I have Delver claws, grappling hooks, and two fifty feet of rope, and pistons my mind. from a from a climbing yep. kit. Mm -hmm. All right, Gaius. I knew you somebody kinda... had a spike that they could put in the ground. You you tie up the rope together. I sure do. I'm making us a way down. All right, you tie up the rope, use the grappling hook, and find, like, a piece of metal that is just, like, perfect to tie around. It shouldn't cut the rope and is, like, the perfect kind of holding spot. Uh, as you throw the rope down, you hear, like, the whoosh, and the splash noise again. Cool. Who's right, going well. first? Um, I'll I'm go actually... first. Okay. Whoever's going first should have some light as well. All right, I'll go. If I slip and fall, I can at least fly down. I will, uh... I will irradiate light off of my, my handy-dandy new sensor and uh, attempt to make my way down. All right. Yo. As you make your way down, uh, Milo kind of using the rope to kind of slowly kind of bring yourself down. The rope mm. swings significantly. It's actually uh. terrible. As you notice that the like the sort of metal lip up above uh, kind of goes in about a foot or so or like multiple feet. Mm. Um, and then the actual like wall itself is more in, you know, there's more of it. So the, the rope isn't up against the wall. It's kind of free hanging. Yeah. Um, but you kind of slowly make your way down. And as you kind of look around, you notice that the stone itself is very interestingly. It's it's like a mixture of excavation if that makes sense mm -hmm. like you're like okay that's like pickaxes but then you're like that's not anything i know something about this is kind of weird um mm. and as you kind of begin to slip further and further there's this sort of oh, it's such a strange smell there's a sort of this acrid unpleasant smell that kind of makes your nose itch um and you drop all the way as you kind of like begin to lower yourself down i'm gonna Put you on the map. Map, 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 map. Oh no, the map. We're in it now. We're in it now. That is also the other reference we make. Hey. As you kind of begin to lower yourself down, you see the water beneath you. Mm -hmm. You also notice something very interesting. Out of all the mage vaults you've been to, this has the tallest ceiling you've ever seen. That checks out. All right. I'll wait for everyone else to head their way down before we Are start. You, do, you, do you hit the water? Uh, I'm going to look down on the water, see how deep it is. As you look down, you see your pebble floating. The water looks to be around maybe like eight feet deep at its deepest. Ooh, um, the okay. Pebbles floating. Can I, can I like swing to land over here? You want a Wind Waker, Lord? Legend of Zelda? A like, little like, bit. Swing? Yeah, yeah. Do an athletics check for me. Uh, and also, Monty, we should go further back. This is Pitfall. Natural 20. Nice. Hey. Oh. You kind of do like the, the like perfect like speed run Legend of Zelda Wind Waker and fucking leap on the a, other side. He does a Christ air halfway through the fucking <laughs> oh jump. <laughs> Just for no Lord reason. <laughs> All right, guys, come on down. The water's kind of deep, so try not to step in it if you can. We will follow. Your direction. voice echoes up the chute, um, and you all hear, it's kind of warbled, but you do hear Milo kind of yelling. You can't really fully make out his words, but you're like, okay, Milo's calling for us. Uh, yeah, he hey, doesn't Monty. sound panicked, right? No, no, not at yeah. all. Hey, Monty. Yes. How far, uh, how much more rope is there feet wise once we hit the bottom? If it doesn't extend, if it extends at all. It hits the water. So it's probably got this chute as you kind of see it is a uh, Milo. You would know it's about 80 feet deep. Mm. Let, let me Ooh. go. I, I'm going to go down and then I'm going to move the rope to stick to a wall and use a piston to put it in place. Smart idea. All right. Yeah, go for it. Uh, right. As you do that, I'm assuming you're going to go down next then. Yes. All right. 
you kind of, I imagine you move the rope kind of more towards here. So I'm just going to move. Oh, I was going to move the rope towards the wall. Oh, perfect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. While, all, while everybody's coming down, I'm going to start ritual casting to take magic. You got it. Uh, everybody else, you make your way down the rope. Yep. I yes. suppose, I suppose. You do realize as you are sliding down this, probably for the less athletically gifted, uh, climbing up this rope is going to be a real bitch <laughs> later. Yep. Someone's going to have to throw East Gun back up, so just be prepared <laughs> for that. Giants might. <laughs> 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 I summon the Promethean old magics, yeet. <laughs> um, so a few things catch your guys' eye also. I don't know why my ambience isn't allowed. Uh, one second. There we go. Attach the lavender. The things you notice immediately is there's the pool of water, obviously. Also, if you're wondering about like what these little sketch like dotted lines are, that's the where the, the shoot is. So it's above you. Okay. Um mm -hmm. A few things. First of all, a familiar friend. Uh, you see two doors to the north and two doors to the south, each of which has a uh, square of, of kinetic sand sitting in its mm. middle. Notably, uh, there's actually a significant amount of moss in this space. And the doors themselves... Actually, I should probably just grab my, my dungeon notes here. That'd be probably pretty smart. Huh? Hi! I'm in a mage vault, Roy! It's a moss joke, is, uh, IT crowd. I get it. Oh. I'll call uh, me a nerd. Enter the mage vault. <laughs> mage vault, exclamation point. Exclamation it was point. pretty cool. Um, the doors to the north and south are your, your familiar kind of sand doors that you've seen in the other mage vaults. These sort of mm -hmm. like, you know, 10 foot wide, very tall. These ones are very large um, with the sand kind of in the middle, you know, medium height. The thing that's very bizarre, though, is that there is a door here entirely made out of, like, a very unpure white quartz that looks like it was patchworked together. It doesn't look mm. man-made. It looks, like, printed, if that makes sense. Huh. 3D printed. 3D printing in quartz now? Gosh. Unacceptable. Unexpected. <clears throat> Also, there is a yeah. tiny little trickling stream of something coming from this direction to the uh, to the east. Is it merging into the water? It is going into the water, yes, and it might be responsible for this more acrid smell. Um, yeah, just let me know as soon as that ten minutes is up. Yep, ten minutes is up. Uh, weirdly enough, the crystal door is not magical. Uh, however, the other um, four, of course, have that similar sure. magic that you're used to. How about, I'm going to scoot over here. How about the water and then the little trickle of questionable fluid going into it? The trickle of questionable, questionable fluid is not magical, and the door over there is the same as the other three mm. doors in here, minus the crystal door. And, and nothing the water, in the water? Oh. The water itself, you see your light spell, um, mm -hmm. and that is it. Okay. Hmm. Well, you good news, we... everyone, is that there's no magic in here except the doors, which we kind of figured out. Would one be able to nature or medicine check the mysterious fluid? Good question. Uh, sure. Which one? Na nature, I would say. Okay. Nature. Here Not we sure. go. East Gun will kind of hover over it as from a safe distance. Uh, it's going to be a 19. 19. Noise. Uh, you looking at the trickling liquid? Yes, the mystery fluid. I'm gonna be very apt with the color of this, as you kind of bring a light to it and look closer at it. It is like pea colored. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> um, but <sighs> something about the smell is familiar to you, and you feel like you remember smelling something like this in. Um, like smithies, like very high end smiths. And you kind of think about it for a while, and you realize, oh, I think I think the gnomish word for this is is fluorine, liquid fluorine. For oh, fuck's sake. Uh, okay. What do I do? I know anything about fluorine? Uh, it, it is incredibly toxic. It is a irritant specifically. Okay. Um, so not good to get into the eyes and on the skin. So it's a good thing you guys avoided hitting the water. Well, uh, we're gonna want to stay away from this fluid and probably the water it's going into. 
I'm pretty sure this stuff is fluorine. I'm not entirely sure what it's used for, but it isn't Smithies a lot, and it's not good for you. What? Guys, one eye blinks, followed by the other. What? How well known is that element? Yeah. Uh, I, uh that's intelligence check. While that intelligence check is going off, Otho will. Oh, oh hey, another my. natural twenty. God, God damn, damn. Milo. Um, I got a soft twenty, so very flaccid. Uh, Otho uh, will uh, uncork just an empty bottle, and he'll see if he can gather a sample of it. Don't right. touch it with your skin if you can are you avoid it. Wearing from, gloves. Are you getting it from the water pool, or are you getting it from the little trickling stream? Because that's like over here. Uh, I feel, I feel like probably would get it from the. Unless unless the, the stream looks like a more pure source it's, than the... Yeah, the stream seems very pure, and the water is definitely from rainwater, you get the sense. It has probably obviously fallen in here from, from the chute. Yeah, Otho um, would probably just go to the go over to the trickling stream and collect it from there in that case. Okay. It's very... Like, you can only really get a little bit of it because the stream is pathetic. Um, but you do manage to collect, I will say, like, maybe, like... I'm going to use measurements here, like a tablespoon of fluorine liquid. Mm. We can make muffins. <laughs> Milo Toxic looks at you with death. Muffins. Toxic muffins? <laughs> Toxic muffins. That's uh, the name of my ska band. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Pick it up, pick it up. Right. Uh, don't, don't you eye me. You know what I'm about. Anyway, <laughs> uh, we should probably try and open one of these doors, shouldn't we? We don't have a room. I was actually suggest trying to go down the hallway, see if we can get more clues, because I don't think we have a method of opening these doors, do we? You don't know the well, code, no. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, down Isn't the road it? we go. Could yeah, I was about to say, could we not just like try ones we've used previously? Yeah, you can try. I, I think I think they're all different though. I, I, they I are all different. Hazard, yes. <laughs> Alright. Uh one more quick thing about this door real quick mm -hmm. uh so you said it was patchworked together yeah it doesn't look it, like handmade but yet it does not look obviously natural so when you say patchwork what does the so it's the it's the uh marble you said or am i crazy it's uh, it's made out of like a, a, a impure quartz or like a like a sort of like stone so where the quartz end, what starts? Oh, how do I describe it? This is interesting. Basically, it's like, imagine someone, um, like, basically built a square of quartz to act as a door, but only the bottom half. And then they found another piece of quartz and made the top half, so they mismatch, like, at a line, right? So it's, it's still quartz, it's just a different source. It's just a different, like, piece of quartz, because clearly it doesn't match. It doesn't flow into the other one naturally. Like, there's a hard edge to where it changes to a different quartz. Material-wise, it's all the same, but the patterns are irregular enough that it clearly was made in four parts and then put together. Okay. All right, well... Oh, well, that answers my question. I'm ready to get going. Kind of weird. We didn't see a... Oh, what would we call those rooms with the alarms in them? Horrible screaming death door. Yeah, more well, like an auntie chamber. See one of those. We might be on the other side of one of them. We did come down through a hole, and something may have broken out of this. So, uh, yeah. Yes. I'm gonna start peeking down here. Peeking my way down here. What's your dark vision? Uh, good up. question, Mega Man. Uh, you Sixty want me to do it. 60 feet okay Go well ahead. if you if you want to if you want to hop perfect down perfect and... cone range <laughs> <laughs> what do you know <laughs> mm. uh... you turn the corner oh there's shit over there he's peeking ah i don't see anything guys let's keep going time hey, to get a closer view yep. i have 120 Oh, that's right, you do. Uh huh. <laughs> Show me the room. Go ahead and measure 120 feet for me. Task, is Whoa. that you? 
Yeah, Gaius, I was about to say. As you turn the corner, uh, you see a lot more. You also see the legs of something. I uh, grab my. Uh, I grab my. Oh my, no! I grab Milo That's by the great. back of the collar and I just shake my head. No, something's nope. ahead. Absolutely not. There is. This one's as friendly as Goyle, right? <laughs> no, it's right? bigger Goyle than was that. Insane. Oh no, it's bigger than that. <laughs> oh sure. Guys, do you think you might be able to move to get a better angle on it and see what it actually is? As long as I don't have to move forward, here I go. Again roll on your me, own. Roll me a stealth check, please. No! <laughs> yeah, you, you, you asked the guy with fucking coded and weapons to stealth. I'm sorry, Mr. 120 foot dark vision. You're like a really useful person here. <laughs> no, not in stealth, I'll tell you that much. Five. Okay, go ahead and move your character. Well, the fight's starting early, boys. No, you're good. No, no. no we don't you're good. know that. Maybe, we he's, know that. maybe he's pleasant. Maybe I will say point. you will have to be here, unfortunately, just to get an actual vantage point here. Okay. But that will give you more information, okay. so. Hooray. All right. Gaius, you notice uh, four things. And I'm going to move the camera. Oh, there it is. Oh, what the? Oh, my God. Nope, this is very bad. You see, the thing that stands out to you the most is this room is filled with large, like, they almost look like platforms of steel. Um, and some of them have glass kind of either shattered or broken. Um, the closest one here appears to be the source of the trickling, uh, as it appears to be a somewhat cracked glass tube filled with this liquid. Next to it is a empty steel plate that has nothing on it. And by the way, these things are like huge. They're very big across, um, like 15 feet around in a circle. But next to that, you see currently on its back legs, tail curled around it. Its, its arms are crossed in front of it, kind of pharaoh style. And its head is looking down. Its eyes are open, but not looking around. You see what appears to be a massive dragon that is translucent it's yellow and translucent you can see the throat you can see the organs inside and the wings on it are are placed backwards on it running down the length of the back of its neck are like floating <clears throat> like kinetic crystals and it is currently not moving. It is just arms crossed in front of it, staring at the floor, unmoving. And as you kind of clatter your way across, it does not take notice of you whatsoever. Yellow dragon, my ass. Guessing. I know what that thing is. Uh, I, well, I had a guess, and I think I, I might have been right. Yeah. So, that that behavior makes it feel like it's fucking dead. Can I roll a medicine check? Go for it. Hang on, I lost my page. Medicine. Oh, it's Medicina, actually. Mm. In this world, anyway. A Medicino is something different. Yeah, it's a cup of coffee with cream in it. Why is my page taking so long to load? Please. Nine. Nine. Here's a few things that are in your favor. You can see the organs inside of it, and you do see a heart beating. Oh, that's unpleasant. Hmm. Uh, yeah, I... I move back to everyone else. <laughs> Guy is just like eyes wide, blank face. I found Hell? our dragon. Oh, what? What in there? It, it looks like someone beat us to the punch, though. It's oh, I forgot to describe are... one more thing, actually. Beyond that, beyond the dragon itself, there was another canister that looks as if something inside of it exploded out and crystallized. Mm. It seems to be of a similar make to the dragon itself, but the the stone itself is translucent, but very red towards its center, almost in a sort of threatening and ominous kind of way. Okay. Uh, it looks like someone may have beat us here to the punch there's a dragon with its belly split open and organs exposed sitting around in what looks like giant platforms some exploded some trickling with the 
weird acid-like stuff coming in into the water. But the dragon's heart is beating. Wait, so it's um, cut open, but it's still alive? It's, 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 not, cut. it's not cut open. You can see through it. It's like those... Oh, yeah, I'm translucent. Sorry. translucent, yeah. So when sorry. you made your medicine check, it was not much of a check because you could see its heart through its body because it's translucent. It, it, it almost looked spectral in a way like its skin was there but i could see the organs inside moving do you do you want me to send work in there to see if he sees anything else can i not see from here the other side uh measure out 120 for me sure thing uh, dee, da, da, dee, da, da. i'll see from there you do actually you do see the other side too yeah so i would get up to there uh, to the south, uh, the I would say, looking at the map, the southwest. Um, I actually have to check this. this is Massive jar of anti-dragon juice. Oh, how how convenient! <laughs> uh, it is a. Um, it looks to be somewhat similar to the red, like stone that you see next to the dragon except for this one is like a crumbling actually it's a very crumbling impure quartz almost identical to the door on the other side that you are near hmm. oh. but it looks like it's like grown inside of this canister or something it's very strange you also see kind of slightly what appears to be two very large troughs um, and above it, you see there's, like, these large, almost, like, kind of metal tubes. One is dripping a constant, like, sort of driplet of water, and the other one is unmoving above the other trough. All right, to save time, Gaius will explain and point out in the directions of everything he has seen to everyone. So maybe this thing is as old as the mage war. And maybe it's not necessarily violent. It might not be, but there's really only one way to find out. And if we're wrong, we're going to be really wrong. Do you want me to go talk to him? Wait, Do you speak dragon? That's fair. Uh, uh looks the e scan. I, I do. Why don't I but just I... Send work further in? Maybe he won't see him and we'll see what else is in here. That's probably a better idea, because I can't even see past this wall. All right. I am going to send Wark in. Okay. You summon Wark, and Wark's like, Wark. Hey, little buddy. Uh, go check out the far end of the hall. Wark. He takes off into the air. Uh, roll a stealth check for Wark, please. Okay. So uh, ba -da -da. Metal Come Gear War. buddy. He's got wings just like you. Don't eat my buddy. Don't eat my buddy. Uh, Ooh, translucent dragon. <laughs> <laughs> they don't make them like they used to. Got it. All right. This Here dragon. comes the roll. Here this track. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> oh. Uh, it just reminds four. me of infamous <laughs> 13. Oh, code. All right. You can move Mark. Where do you want to move him in the room? Mark, you can move me. <laughs> Whoa. Get in there, Mark. Uh, well, here I go. If if we're doing this turn based, are you letting me go anywhere, or just based on his speed? Uh, I'd say based on his speed. Okay, cool. So then I will move him sixty feet into the room. Okay. Uh, which would be... right, yeah, right there. Yep. Yeah. Yoink. All right. That reveals this. Hooray. Squares. Oh, blocks. Blocks. <laughs> Those are the troughs. Uh, notably, this trough is currently overflowing with water uh, at the moment. Is it uh, actually water? Yeah, it appears okay. to be actual water. Um, however, as war kind of flaps in and lands on the ground, um, he kind of looks around. <laughs> notably, these, like, steel, like, holding things are kind of like the bottoms of those you guys remember that i hate to recall an old event this is going to alienate people who haven't seen like the twin head vault but you guys remember the twin head vault mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you remember yeah. how they had like stuff in those canisters 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yes. It's like that on steroids. These are way bigger, but like same kind oh. of similar make. Mm-hmm. Um, notably, they actually have like plaques on them in the front, and there seems to be a panel next to the plaques as well. Hmm. Okay. The dragon, uh... however, does not move. It just stays in its positions, arm cross. Oh, hey. Uh, I'm going to keep moving work in. Uh, question, this big block here, this is a broken canister? Yeah, it seems like the glass is kind of just over the time with pressure. It's just cracked. Um, and it seems like this quartz is just was growing within. Okay. Uh, um, this This one, though, looks like it's fine. It's filled with liquid, but there's a crack in the canister that's, like, slowly causing the trickling. Uh, guys... I think I actually could talk to it. I could cast tongues. Well, it's still we not to... awake. Yeah, we, as long as it's asleep, we should probably keep it that way. Do we know it's asleep? Guy said his eyes were open. That's what They're... Wark's trying to figure out, right? Yeah. Uh, as you look through doesn't... Wark, its eyes are open. They're like these pearl eyes without any sort of iris in them. It's just like kind of this sort of almost iridescent white. Do you want me to send him down the hall? If you think it's safe. I don't know if it's safe. Let me just get a little closer so I don't mess this up. And Kai's gonna have to move to one, two, three, four, five, six, here. Why do you have to move? because I have to stay within a certain range if I'm reading these rules properly. Mm. Uh, and then I will send Wark another 60 feet. Okay. Which should get him 55 to... feet in front of him. Yeah. yeah. Just inside. Right there. Uh, I would like range. you and Wark to both make stealth checks. Okay. Uh, I will do, I'll do Kai first. It's an eight. And Wark is... Roll better, Bosco. Wark is a 10. Okay. Roll better. As you kind of slide up against the wall, like Kronk from the Emperor's New Groove, or is like <laughs> sidling on the back of the wall, um, Wark kind of flies over and he actually like keeps his eye on the dragon, which he looks towards you like a scared dog. Like, you ever see Rowlet looking behind himself at his tree? Oh, like, don't do that, that to me. <laughs> it's kind of like that. Uh, that however, as you kind of look through Wark's eyes, you notice something on the other side of this dragon. On the the way that its head is facing you, um, you didn't see it, but on the other side, there is a piece of metal, like a sort of contraption that is like merged into its skull okay. on the other side. Uh, Monty, I'd like to ready action a spell if this thing wakes up. Okay, keep in mind, if you ready action a spell, you immediately have to mark off the slot and you're concentrating. That's fine. I'm going to burn it. I'm going to concentrate on Misty Step. Um, All right. So, uh, does Wark see anything down this hallway, or is that a wall? It seems like the hallway turn kind of turns to the left and continues up. Okay. Um, Oh, boy. Uh, is it safe to get behind this? Because I have to stay within a certain range. Is it safe to get behind this thing? You can try. Okay. Great. <laughs> Don't touch the liquid. DM words. That's what I. That's why I was asking. Is it? Is it safe to get behind it and use it as cover so that he's not seen? And then it let is work? translucent. It's got like a okay. yellow tinge, but it's translucent. Probably the southern one would be a bit better because it's a solid like rock. This one right here. Yeah. Don't forget corners. So, you can't walk through walls. So. So, you know, if, God forbid, it, it, I don't know, explodes, you're not doused in fucking acidic liquid. Yeah, would, yeah basically. All right. So, one, two, three, four, five. We'll get me there. Uh, and then I'm going to send work around the corner. It's interesting. As you kind of enter the room, Kai, you can actually mm-hmm. now hear its breathing. This, like, <clears throat> long, heavy, deep breath that kind of oh, yeah. fills the space. <laughs> Right. Kai is going to steady himself, take a deep breath, and then look through Wark. Wark 
has dark vision, I believe, right? 60 yes, feet? Yes, he does. Yeah. Uh, he has a flying speed of 60 feet. I think he's dark. He has blind sight of 10 feet. Uh, it doesn't say that he has dark vision. He just has blind sight. I'd say he has dark vision. He should have dark vision, okay. 60 feet. Note that down for him okay. that he has dark vision. And he doesn't have blind sight. So I know we're using a different okay. stat block, but yeah, he does not have blind sight. He should have dark vision. To 60 feet, you said? Yeah, 60 feet dark vision. Okay. Copy that. Oh, boy. Bark looks no. up the hallway, and it seems to lead to a chamber. You can just see slightly to the left um, some other sort of stone material. It's hard to make out in the darkness. Oh, boy. Milo's going to look around to everyone else who's still here. We're going to have to confront that dragon regardless of the circumstance. I would say the rest of the party, Wark and Kai have not been quiet. Mm. Oh. Really? And the dragon has not budged. Oh, forget this. Milo's going to start moving. Um, you still have light on your... Um, yeah? Okay. I can't see without a source of light. So that's why I'm asking. <laughs> well, then you better follow me, Chief. Well, I am... Uh, uh... Kai's going to keep sneaking around, not realizing you guys are coming in until he hears the clanging of Milo's armor. And he's going to hide for a second. I can't hide behind you, Milo. Milo's it's just going to kind of... Milo's just going to timidly kind of look up the dragon. Um, hello, can you understand me? Milo. Your, your voice kind of echoes in this very large cavernous chamber. Mm -hmm. It doesn't move. It just keeps breathing. Hey, Monty. Yeah. Uh, so now that I'm up close to this marble that's the same as the door, uh, what, like, does the surface tension give an idea that it was clawed away, chipped away, or is it just naturally eroded? It seems, like, naturally occurring, but it's very crumbly. Like, when you look at it, there's a lot of, like, fracture points, meaning that if you probably, like, touch it too much, it'll probably, like, chip apart. Yeah, I was gonna, like, take, a. Uh... I was going to take my hand axe and maybe chip a small piece of it. Sure, go for it. Uh, uh, well, no no, no check necessary. You just kind of take the haft of your axe and just kind of hit it a couple times and take off a chunk, like a fist-sized chunk. Okay. Um, Monty? Yes? I'm going to get to wherever I need to because I want to see if I can get any magic. Uh, oh, any yeah, kind. that's right. You have to tech magic up. Uh, yeah. Yep. yeah, this room is, is super magical. Um, notably, um, the immediate thing that's magical to you is, um, obviously, surprisingly, not the dragon itself is magical, which is very mm. bizarre to you. Um, each of these, like, panels on each of these sort of canisters, mm -hmm. uh, these steel plates, uh, are magical. They appear to be conjuration. Mm. Uh, additionally, as you kind of look at this dragon, uh, its panel in particular is the strongest, uh, you also notice that it's dented inwards, as if someone has, like, punched it. Mm. Um, additionally, uh, I have the information here. Hold on. I have to find it here. Um... <clears throat> Oops, sorry, my chair's very squeaky. Uh... Crap, I know I wrote this down. Hold on. Uh, the thing on strapped to its head... Uh, has abjuration magic attached to it and a very concentrating and honestly awe-inspiring amount of enchantment magic attached to it. Oh, no. Uh, that's okay. Uh, the shoots above uh, the troughs have conjuration attached to them as well. Eskan, what you know Draconic, right? I do. Uh, Eskan, uh, the, with the light that Milo provides, uh, this tank here that's filled with the liquid has a co code attached to it beneath it, which is 2-24. Okay. Kind of 
looking at that, that's that's all I see on like the placard that's on yeah. it. Yeah, it just okay. dictates two dash twenty four is what it I'll says. I'll carefully move up and take a look at this next one. That one says two dash twenty five. Uh, although there's some kind of code on these. Otho? What do you think it means? Uh, I don't know. It's just numbers. numbers. Uh, Dates. I'm going to look inside the trough. Uh, the trough has at the bottom of it actually something familiar. It's that food that Milo made before. It's like the inside of it. Like this gray sludge. Oh. <laughs> My Milo, they're conjuring food. It's the same as yours. So we can all see that, like, I mean, these, we've seen these tubes, I think, all right, Milo's just going to make a lot of assumptions here. I think they were trying to grow these dragons. Why? And then, Possibly. And then control them. There, there's, I mean, there's some kind of mechanism on that dragon's face, and it's high, high concentrated amount of enchantment. Are we sure they weren't just trying to make like dragon constructs like the other place? I mean, maybe, but this thing's living gonna... and breathing. Well, while it's asleep, I'm gonna go check out this other room. And Kai's gonna start walking Sorry. this way. Just give me one sec. I realize my notes are incorrect. I just need to fix something super fast. Oh shit, you don't know what's here. <laughs> I, I messed up, yeah. Oh, that's oh, the page that says part. Olim. Just oh, kill him. Olim rises. <laughs> uh, also, Eskin, I messed up. Uh, the huh? second one was 2 26, not 2 25. I apologize. All good. Easy fix. The one with the living question mark dragon mm -hmm. uh, is 2 27. And the red crystal container is 2 28. Is the crystal the same as the dragon skin? Uh, the red c crystal is similar, yes, but the color is different. Okay. Kai. Mm hmm. As you look inside of this face, do you have dark vision? Uh, no, but work does. <clears throat> oh. You see a rather large room that just has, like, crystals growing out of it. Whoa. Paul. Oh. Kai, what is your alignment? Huh. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, <laughs> I think I said it was <laughs> true neutral. Uh, I'm going to go look at the crystals with work. You feel like you're being watched as you enter into this space. Oh, no. Okay. Roll a nature check for me. A nature check? Yes. Uh, nine. These are very large crystals, and they're they're attached to the walls, the ceilings. It's like filling up the space. But you feel almost like a presence in here, like there's something in here, but you don't see anything. All right. <clears throat> All right, I need to try something. Uh, he's going to stop looking through work for a second, and even though it's going to be dark around him, uh, for the first time, because he's been watching it happen a lot, he is going to ritual cast Detect Magic. Okay. As you cast Detect Magic, your eyes alight. The crystals in this space are rife with a magic that you've never felt before. Otherworldly, aberrant, almost foreign but 
unlike most aberrant sort of magics, it doesn't hurt and it doesn't seem violent or harmful. It's almost like a miasma that fills this space. And mm -hmm. you see with your detect magic, there's a thread that is kind of hitting your forehead, like a magical thread that is leaning up to a massive crystal formation that almost looks like jaws that is currently set in the wall here. Where where does it lead? Yeah, if you could ping it for me. I am pinging it right now. Oh, I'm on the wrong layer. My <laughs> yeah. bad. There it is, right here. Uh, I'm going to approach that with Wark, uh, but before I leave the hallway, I'm gonna call out, guys, you should come this way. And uh, I'm gonna go investigate. Be before I do that, uh, how hard would it be to get a, ch a small fist-sized chunk of this crystal I'm next to? As you kind of go to try and chip it off, this would definitely require specialty tools, unfortunately, to harvest. Okay. Uh, if I hold my piece of quartz up to it, is there any reaction? No reaction. Okay. Then I will look to the last two that are lagging and nod my head for them to follow up. All right. The rest of you guys enter into the space with Kai. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah, it's dangerous. Oh, yeah. This will be. As you enter in, I assume, Milo, with your light, the light reflects on an entire room made of pure, pure topaz that fills the entire space. It twinkles like starlight as the light refracts through and around into the room, creating this sort of warm yellow candlelight glow. Milo, Gaius, yes. Otho, and Iskan, what are your alignments? Ruffle uh, alignments. Neutral good, and my detect magic, is, I believe, is still up. It oh. is, yes. And you're detecting the same thing that Kai has detected, mm -hmm. which is this place is filled with aberrant foreign magics. Okay. Ab Ever ever since that uh, ever since the fight pit episode, I made a gag that it was uh, true, uh, lawful stupid. So lawful good. Okay. Doesn't have to be that way. Uh, Eastgan is neutral good. Okay. Ova As... is firmly lawful neutral. All right. As you all enter the space, and as Milo, Gaius, and Eastgan are present. All of you get a weird sensation, and Kai and Milo, you notice now more of these arcane threads, kind of as you enter into the space, apparating right at your forehead. Mm -hmm. And as you all kind of stand in this room, all of you get the weirdest sense that you should ask a question. Can, can any of us get a, a nature check on these crystals? Sure, go for it. Good luck. Yes. Uh, 23. The crystals in here appear to be growing. Like, just based off of the way they look, like they're naturally growing out of the wall. This isn't like, oh, you know, gemstones in the earth, compression, and all this other stuff. No, this is just growing like a plant grows. Additionally, uh, as the light enters the space, the color of the crystals in this space are the exact same color as that dragon out in that mm -hmm. canister. Mm, okay. But you all, once again, feel this, nothing said, but you get this weird feeling in your head that you should ask a question. Uh, Milo immediately calls out, what is this place? You watch as a chunk of topaz, like, set into the wall, opens its jaw, almost like a nutcracker. And you ask, what is this place? Mm-hmm. The jaw slowly moves, chunks of topaz falling to the ground and shattering. And you don't hear a voice, but all of you hear something in your mind. Prison. Oh. Well. Um, that's an answer. And we heard that in our heads? In your heads, yeah. Do we feel like we only have one question, or we're just allowed to ask questions? You have no idea. Okay. Does Milo feel any effects after asking the question? Like, does that feeling dissipate? It's less, but... 
Mm. Did that hurt at all, Monty? No, completely okay. gentle. It just felt a little weird. It was like, um, like a voice. Just are the kind threads of... are the are the arcane threads reacting at all as the question is asked? <laughs> as it spoke, you saw almost like a reverberation running down the line. Mm. Okay. Uh, Iskan's gonna take a step forward. Are you the dragon around the corner? No. Gonna look back at Otho and shrug. Hmm. Guys, we should be careful. I don't know how many of these we get. What are you talking about? I, I feel compelled to ask questions, but I don't... I don't know if that's because of the magic in here. It's weird. There's some kind of magical essence in here, and it's nothing that I've ever felt before. Ever. I know. It's the same with me. Hmm. I'll sort it. How can we help you? Nothing. Why were you imprisoned? Harvest. Oh, that's bad. <laughs> Who imprisoned you? Arcanist. An arcanist imprisoned this thingy. Uh, did we all ask a question? Uh, Kai hasn't asked Milo one. asked two. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Eastgun asked one. Otho asked one. I asked I one. I guess we're going to find out if we have a... You asked one, so, so far so good. What are you? Prometheus. Prometheus? Promethean. Prometheus. He's Promethean? No, he said oh, Prometheus. Prometheus. Oh. I was about to get triggered. Where do you hail from? Deep. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, God. Do you know what the device attached to that dragon's head is? Control. How can we Dude. remove it? Unknown. I... It's very oh. interesting, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I. Mm, wait a minute. We've been asking you questions. Would you pose a question to us? No. <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> Yo, hey, I listen. Good question, I, though. I, good question. It was, no, it was a good question. question, but I'm just imagining him being like, nah. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> what would happen if we got rid of the controlling device on the dragon's head? Unknown. What do you know the runes to open the doors in this facility? Oh, Sask, which is the draconic word for rot. Rot. All right, good question. Very good question. Uh, Iskin will share that knowledge with everyone who doesn't Thank speak you. draconic. Mm. Cool. Oh my god. Sorry, a helicopter just... How do you like, spell the word that they right said, though? Because it might be what we need to put in the door. S-A-S-K. Sask in Draconic. Sask, okay. The Draconic word for rot, for rot, essentially. Okay. Yeah. Did a man with a worm for a tongue visit this place? Yes. Knew it. Did he apply the device? What did he device? do? 
Bray. Is he the one who currently controls that dragon? No. Who is its master? No one. How is the dragon getting out? Unknown. Cause maybe we should start checking those doors then. Mm. Why is the dragon attacking Kuchner's Cove? Unknown. Is there any way to stop it from attacking? Unknown. Well, this wall is unhelpful. Hmm. No, hang on. <laughs> Since Gaius doesn't actually fucking know this. Who, uh... So he said his name is Prometheus, right? Like yes, he asked what he was, and he said Prometheus. He's, he said he oh, is Prometheus. What are what are the Prometheus? Original. Hmm. Were they using this crystalline structure to grow these dragons? Yes. How long were they doing that? That's a good fucking question, Mega Man. Let me check the fucking notes. I want to imagine the wall says that. The wall says, <laughs> no, stand by. The query is important to us. <laughs> score and seven years ago. Let me get my supervisor. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, Let me second. connect you to someone who can help you. Uh, have you tried turning it? Music starts playing. <laughs> have you tried turning it on and off again? <laughs> Roy. I love this Sorry. IT wall. They're turning me into dragons, Roy. Sorry, like I said, I have to do math here. We are experiencing longer than usual wait <laughs> times. <laughs> Please your hold as your is... query is important to oh, us. Oh, I hate myself. Sorry. Hold on. No, no, you're your fine. Question we'll, we'll keep it. Is very important <laughs> to us. <laughs> Would you like to leave your phone number so we can call you back? To expedite your times, please have your membership number handy. I feel like we're like agonizing certain people in the chat. <laughs> Listen, yeah, they know what they're here for. <laughs> Hold on, sorry, I gotta check notes. Real Just fast. like Monty, no, 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 they know what's here. I, I did not mean to stump you, models. Monty. I'm sorry. No, 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 no. You're you're fine. You're fine. I'm just press zero out. to speak to a customer service <laughs> person. Representative. You have to Thank say representative. representative. I wouldn't make a good call. <laughs> I wouldn't make a good oh. call specialist. It would help if I put the right num numbers in to calculate this real fast. Sorry. It's like a choose your own adventure where like you find the page and it's like check page 366 for this answer. I, you're joking, but oh, yeah, right. kind of close to that, <laughs> press, honestly. Press one to hear the total amount of your due payment. <laughs> oh, God, why? Which, which you would like to apply for a credit card. All right, Otho, I believe you asked the question. How uh, long have they been? Oh, you scan. How long have they been gone. collecting from this room? Yes. Uh, it responds with 994. Years? 994. <laughs> it's a very, mm. That is a number. Did you ask that in character, Bosco? No, I was just above game. I was like, oh, okay. that's a number. <laughs> Money, what year is it? Oh, it's like the, I think it's the 22nd of Ethel, year wise. Because mm. it's a new era, right? Oh, oh, god damn it. Now we got to do conversions. Because of the birth right? of the new god, yeah. Oh, god. Technically, <laughs> uh, yeah, it'd be 20, actually 21st year of the Age of Ethel. And Goyle uh, was in that place for over a thousand years, right? It was like 1500 or something. 
Yeah. Uh, he only counted the days. I think we were trying to just estimate how many years it was. But... Thank you for your patience on that, by the way. I want to make sure. Yeah, that. no, that's mm -hmm. fine. No, I appreciate it. I like the lore. Uh... Okay, here's one, since the dragon's the bigger problem here. How do we pacify the dragon? Unknown. Uh, Damn it. Of course. Chloe, let's go check the rooms. Yeah, I agree. I don't know what else we're going to get here right now. Also, my head is I starting to feel funny. Actually, I'm feeling you're pretty actually fine. Um, it's a little Never weird. Mind. Like a God really... said I'm fine. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> it's not very invasive. It should feel invasive. But, like, whatever this thing is, it's being very gentle about its communication with you. Hey, okay. Monty. Yes. Uh, Gai Gaius has a selfish question to ask this thing. Go for it. Gaius, it. like, rubs his chin as everyone's walking out, thinks about it, and then looks at all the topaz. What does Amethyst mean to the Prometheus? Sister. Where can we, where can I find her? Unknown. Uh, and there's a Damn sadness it. to that. Fuck. Aww. Shit. Okay, one last question. What does Amethyst mean to the Giants? Treasure. All right, Kai has one. What do you know about the Anhedonians? Survivors. Of the Mage War? response no response mm. Mm. Oh, my this Lord. thing definitely does not seem to be able to um what's the word detail i guess was probably probably the most apt way to put it mm -hmm. actually hmm it's what does google Tope... it's being yeah yeah well we know now i know that amethyst is treasure what does topaz mean to the giants? Treasure. Is there a way to extract a piece of you? There's a hesitation. <laughs> Please do <laughs> not. <laughs> yes. Can we? May I? There's a longer pause. <laughs> yes. Actually, serious well, question, not trying to be a goof or anything. You said when it was talking, there was like pieces of it falling, right? Yeah, yeah. like it's, it's kind of, it's like a solid mass. So the moment it starts moving, chunks of it fall to the ground. Would they I, be able to just collect those pieces? Those pieces? Yeah, yeah, yeah can, can, I just grab, can I grab the biggest piece? Yep, you got a fist-sized topaz. That way we don't have to, yep, you, know, you Yep. Carve it you up forcefully. <laughs> yep. You, you aid me in more ways than one, as Gaia says before he walks out. You feel like they don't speak in you, but they there's a sort of acknowledgement. Honestly, oh. as you guys begin to leave... You get the sort of like how you got the sensation, like I should ask a question. As you begin to leave, you feel feel a feeling of like satisfaction. Hmm. Before before Gaius leaves, he looks to the topaz as he's like holding it in the room. Uh. May I find your sister with haste? And we will walk out. Now let's go check out them funny doors. I'm sticking with the holy glow stick because I can't see. 
<laughs> no! <laughs> Darkness How imprisoning dare. me. As you walk ice. past in the shadow of this massive topaz dragon, its arm still X'd over its body, it takes no notice of you whatsoever. I'm scared when this thing wakes up, dude. We don't even oh, know if that's going to happen. It could, though, and that's oh, what sorry, terrifies me. Yeah, and... Sorry, I was muted because of dogs. Dogs. I actually I actually had one more question. Sure. As everyone else kind of departs, and you're kind of left inside the chamber, what would you like to do? Does the name Blightwing mean anything to you? Yeah. Did it say death? Oh god, the dogs. <laughs> that is perfectly timed every time someone said death, the bark <laughs> happened at the same yep. time. It said death. Roof. Death. 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 Roof. Yeah. death, okay. It said death, yeah. Roof. I was gonna compliment you on your impression, Bosco. That was really good. Thank you. Well, Next to Milo, I'll go ahead and carve. I assume I would know the draconic rune. Yes, you do. I'll go ahead and put it into the uh, the sand square. All right, as you put it. Into Kai the is sand also going to put it into his sand square. Can we do one door at a time? <laughs> it's probably easier. I'll for allow it. That okay. None of do. Do you all know draconic? Actually, that's, Kai and Iskan do both know draconic. I, yeah, so. they both do. <laughs> Well, I'll just shut the hell up then. Yeah, why don't you just shut the hell <laughs> not, up then? Not not to deter discourage exploring, but it just makes it a lot easier to go one at a time. Yep. No, yeah. by all means. Not Can like everything at once. Totally cool just, just just fucking just just Kai. Oh, very well then. <laughs> I'll allow no, it. God. I, no, we open all four systematically at the same time in perfect unison. <laughs> so you open you all four systematically in unison, and all four of the beholders I had hidden behind the doors <laughs> immediately activate. Oh, good. Do you mind? Some of us are using the restroom. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Iskan, you put the draconic word for rot into the door, Sask. Yes. The door <laughs> slides open. Interestingly enough as well, you notice that this door has probably opened, not like yesterday, but has probably opened up recently in like the past few months or so. Based off some scraping of the moss. Yeah. There's moss at like on the doors just from the Hello. liquid. And it looks like it's already been scraped off by the door, recessing into the wall. I don't know what we're going to find here if people have already been here. The door opens, revealing inside as the light pours in a hallway that seems to continue southward. I shall do a peek this way. All right. As you peek around the corner. Just Congratulations, your prize, a door. Uh, <laughs> woo! Iskin's going to shake Milo a little bit just to get that glowing juice flowing so he doesn't dim. <laughs> okay. Peek. And that door with the light to sword. the toilet. Congratulations, oh. Milo. Brightbeam, your second prize is another door. A door. Oh. Now, are they, regular, door. are they regular doors or are they rune in, the rune inscription they doors? They are rune inscription doors. Would you like us to open one door at a time? Uh, see, now this is a quandary because one door is currently open already. That's what I'm asking. So and in the other, the door behind don't us and then sass open a second me. Door? I'm not. In the other... I'm talking about other... Bosco. Mark, you're the good child. Bosco is okay. on... <laughs> wow. in, in, right, the other, right. in the other Our... mage vault, when we opened one door, another one closed. So if we open one here, there's a chance the door behind us might close. So just bear that in mind. <laughs> All right, fine. Gaius gets fucking, like, fry from Futurama, Star Trek doored. <laughs> Just, he's just standing there holding his arms out like no no door well if we're gonna stand if we're gonna stand in here i'm not gonna be the door squad i'm carving it into this door all that right as you carve it into the door door. otho and gaius you just jolt as you hear the door swing back to its closed position I knew it. Yeah. and this mm. door one door at opens a time. and inside you see something familiar and Wark gets quite excited actually as you see oh. a teleportation oh. circle oh hey. oh ah. Can Kaisen. we attune him to this like we did to the one in yep. the estate? I'm going to do that. You absolutely can. 
<laughs> oh boy, the death and decay vault. We're gonna tune to this. <laughs> yeah! I mean, it just gives us another portal to go to, because if we need to pop over here and then go up through the, the lift. Boy, it's how cool. sure it does. It is, you can note this down as the, I mean, I'm not telling you the name of this vault, um, okay. but you can just note it down vault? as the Dragon. rock vault, sure. Yeah. Okay. The icky vault. I'm going to ask uh, Bracky to make us an icon so I can actually put down where you guys have found uh, teleportation circles so you guys have them. Sick. Ooh. That would be very I helpful. Yeah. I won't mark capital cities, though, because it seems pretty obvious. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because you guys have Hearthland, you have Arcastoria, and you have Martorallo. Teleportation. <laughs> All right. Well, he is attuning. It's very quick. It only takes like oh, okay, a minute. Cool. Yeah. Guys, we've got a new teleportation circle. As he finishes, work goes work, work, work. Is it the same as the other ones? I mean, Monty, is there any difference other than the location of it? Wait a the minute. It's different, but the symbols are different. Every every teleportation circle has different symbols to indicate the location it's at. Isn't I mean, it's the only origin of teleportation? I mean, Eastonvale is. I don't know if Work specifically is. Work? Work. Great. That's a solid maybe. If. Hmm. Can, can I do an investigation to see if the teleportation circle looks relatively new? Um, I guess, yeah. Investigation. Okay. Or Arcana of your choice. There's gonna be. I'm gonna move you into the, the morning, morning after. Because, you know, there. There you go. Uh, they're both the same. It's plus two. So here I go. Fourteen. Fourteen. It's definitely old. Um, it doesn't seem as like. It's kind of like. It's kind of like comparing computers. Like your first computer was a giant room, right? Which is what Isabelle Castle is. This one is definitely less refined, but it is certainly as efficient. It is an older teleportation circle in design in terms of like the materials used, but it is not ancient like Eastendale Castle. <gasps> oh my god, excuse me. Or rather, um, I'm messing this up. How do I, it's like, uh, it's like, it's, it's the computer thing. Like Eastendale Castle would be like the first prototype Mm -hmm. Which just makes it seem like, you know, but this is like more refined and less like that sort of archaic kind of look to it. Age wise, it's it, this def one definitely seems newer because it seems like a perfection of the original, but it's hard to place the exact age. It's impossible to tell. Got it. So, but Eastonville is just the home of the teleportation circle, essentially. Assumedly, yeah, that's the theory. Yeah. Got it. This was uh, definitely door. put here after the establishment of this vault. I think that's worth knowing. Uh, I would say with your investigation, this was probably created at the same time as this vault. Same time as the vault? Yes. Okay. So but Eastonville it, it, is it, even it, older than that. It's impossible so if... for it to be older than Eastonville because it probably came afterwards. Like, that's... Right. I might have gotten confused, yeah. So, Wark is definitely, like, millennia old. <laughs> yes, he is super old. I've seen things you wouldn't believe, Wark. Get that boy a rocking Did you chair. <laughs> she knows that's why he flies. Know he rocking he chair. He is a rock. Years ago. All right, I'll... I'll... I'll help Milo open this door. I'll help Milo open this door. Yeah. All right. As Sask you go Saskatchewan into the little thing there. As you write Sask into the sand and the door throws open, that is where we're going to take our break. Oh, I need oh, a good. bite. Oh. Okay, bath bathroom time. Gino has stolen my socks. What are you doing, boy? He's taking uh, your socks. That's pretty obvious. He's burying them in the corner where I'm going to find them later. <laughs> he's he's trying to. Uh, but Why welcome into the halftime show, everybody. Take Hope you're enjoying the vault so far, guys. It's that time. Yeah, absolutely. Gina found a vault. 
really sucks. hoping that dragon doesn't wake up. Uh, Cafe Orc Boss, thank you for the thousand bits. Holy cow. You know, what are you doing? There's no more socks. That is my shoe. Oh, I'm gonna grab a Boxu snap. Boxu, not sponsored. Not sponsored. Yet. Uh, Killer Champion, thank you for the 10 bits. Welcome to the Hell Hotline. To sell your soul, press 1. <laughs> Para prensia espanol, dos. To scream into the void, press 3. For possession, press, press 4. For ritual sacrifice, press 5. For further inquiries, press 6, 6, 6. You've selected Pooty Tang. Uh, X Wiley Willie, thank you for the tier one sub for 47 months in a row. To speak with a customer representative, press zero or stay on the line. We've all been there. Uh, Kellen Draws, thank you for the 100 bits. So, my Remy print arrived on Monday. Super happy, happy to have it. Also arrived the same day as my mom returned from the hospital. Kind of a good omen, I guess. There you go. See? Perfect. Awesome. I'm glad you like it. Like I said, you were the first person to ever buy one off the site, so I appreciate that. I love those prints. Citric and uh, Jack did amazing work. Wolfwing, thank you for the 10 bits. Monty, is there a sigil and Lady of Pain in this universe? Um, probably not. That's that's a setting specific. No. That's like a Planescape. I thing. mean, Planescape is like a multiverse hub, so theoretically anything could happen. I guess, but I don't consider it if that's what the question it's, is, unfortunately. I'm, I'm back, yeah. and Dark Spirit Matilda has decided to join us. Hell yeah! Oh boy. The Lady of Pain uh, says we don't go to we don't we we don't go to Ethiel. It's a silly place. Yeah. Ace Bounty, thank you for the hundred bits to speak to a dead film director that is tiring trying to leave the dark place. Press six six five. Oh boy. <laughs> Zen thick. Garth Marenghi's dark place. <laughs> Zen with a hundred bits para continuar in in halfling o prima dos. <laughs> me Pachi, they give the 20 bits hear me out crazy idea they befriend a dragon and have sick ass flying mount without needing to pay for monthly battle pass it would be sick because he's very rotting I like they like call themselves the halflings what I missed you spend on this thing nothing uh, you missed Booty Call and the Jelly Rolls gifting a tier one sub to themselves, uh, hey. saying, I do Orin clerics burn catnip instead of sage. Uh, I don't know. Can't, I can't wait yeah, for Prometheus maybe. to be like, Welcome to Movie <laughs> Who's Matilda? My cat. She does have very, like, grandma name energy, though, to be fair. Well, she is 12. Aw, old lady. Aww. Old lady. Yeah. She's old, old, yeah, old, lady. The same old, age. old lady, but she fucking runs around like she's like three years old. That's Bunny now after her eye surgery. She definitely. Oh, if that were the only thing she did, we'd be so happy. But she's. I don't know. She's yeah. decided that she doesn't like litter boxes anymore. And that's a whole problem that we're fighting right now. Hold, hold oh, on, no. Chad. I will, po I will post picture of Matilda in chat for you. Uh, Cyrus, thank you for the 21 bits. Monty, way to make the chat freak out with every little bit of info, considering what a lot of chat knows about these specific kinds of dragons. I think a lot of us were on the same page when the backward wings and the stuff was described last week. So it's cool to actually get to see it. Uh, Killer Chansey, thank you for the whatever 10 bits. Lore, whatever lore you know is... No, you don't. You have no idea. 
Eberron esque yeah, rules. Man. You you think you know yeah. what, what you know, but fuck you, nope. you don't. <laughs> I know what it is. I guess yeah, it's it's unique to each universe. Uh, thank you for the ten bits. Your call will be forwarded to the Crossroads Demon. Rest assured, no. your opinion matters to us. Please hold. Keep keep Mark Allen. Was it Spears? Whatever his last My name is. Keep him out of here. My favorite thing oh. is um, I, I, does anyone does anybody care about a um, Dungeon of the Mad Mage spoiler? Not really. I mean, nah, what if uh, Zan might be listening? I don't know if your players. Are oh, listening he already to knows it. Yeah, he's already they've experienced okay. it. I'm just saying it's a spoiler generally. Um, they they whenever they use sending, they get intercepted by like a like a secretary who like connects their call <laughs> in the undermount. Oh my god. And it's literally like, who are you trying to call? And they're just That's like, oh, this person. He's like, I'm connecting you now. <laughs> it's freaking Janine from Ghostbusters. Yeah, oh, they no. learned, they found out from Gob Swanson, their goblin attendant from the goblin division of Undermountain, uh, that she's a Nothic. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, oh Jesus. Yeah, and they're just like, oh, what? Shit. Vina That's Norvius, awesome. thank you for the 21 bits. Good thing the Dwergar Babushka didn't see Milo's insignia. Uh, uh, probably good. He did. Is everybody back? Connor, you good to go? I think my dog is an Olympic athlete because he just cleared the length of my bed in one leap. Damn. Well, good. good job. Good genes. Good job. He's over a year old. Yeah, Bosco, I'm good, I'm to, good, go? good to go. Mm -hmm. All right. Gaijin, good to go? Mm -hmm. Mark? Yeah. Zito? Mark. Let me just chauffeur Matilda out of here and I'll be good. I hope he has good uh -huh. genes. Oh, He's Gino. You. Hey. hey! I didn't realize he was the like secret to... unlockable character for Smash Brothers. I'd like to also give a small little secret. Uh, all the weird, like, grunt and groan foley noises that Scratch makes is all because of Matilda. <laughs> Those are the noises she makes. Oh man, voice acting cat. I mean, right. talent. You scan as you scribe in Sask, rot into the door. <laughs> you see what probably was once a rather opulent and nice office. There is a beautifully carved. I'll probably refer to my notes here, actually. That might be a bit better. Quick, let's reattack it. Uh, this room contains a large desk in the middle. Um, the northern shelf is stuffed with parchments and dusty diagrams. Uh, the desk itself is very impressive. It, it seems to have carvings into it, but you can't really make out what they are from this distance. I'd like uh, to investigate. It sounds like a fancy place. Milo, as you approach, uh, the front of the desk appears to have a depiction of two dragon-like beings fighting. Anyone mm -hmm. who wants to can roll me a religion check. Oh, I'm good oh, at those. God. Not good enough, seven. I'm not good at those, you but I'll give it a try. You always say that before you roll. 21! <laughs> of all people! 11. I'm not good at religion. Uh, Kai, as you look at this desk, um, the front of it depicts two draconic forms locked in battle. One draconic mm -hmm. form has five heads, the other one mm -hmm. being a large and impressive and elegant dragon. You know these to be uh, Orthok and Innsdrok, mm -hmm. dragon gods of chromatic and metallic dragons, respectively. Mm -hmm. On the... Uh, <clears throat> sorry. On the west-facing part... Uh, appears to be the carving of a red dragon's head. <clears throat> Milo, you're gonna look at the papers? Oh, yeah. Uh, as you kind of, like, look at the papers, they are faded beyond recognition. And mm -hmm. as you just touch a piece of paper, it just crumbles into dust. Anything magical in the room? Uh, the desk is magical. It uh, is covered ooh. in abjuration magic. It's mahogany. <laughs> abjuration? Yeah. Uh, that gives me an idea of what it might be. 
Um, that one was just for you, Gaiden. Sorry. Oh, it's fine. Can Kai cast identify? Uh, yes. I think so. He's done it before, yeah? Yep. You got the rod? Uh, I think we have the rod for it because we've used it before. Oh, okay. Uh, if you want to, I don't mean a metagame. <laughs> I just wasn't sure if that was a thing we could do. Uh, I think I for identify, say, we need the pearl that we have. The I would also have to say this is not a magical item. It has magic on it, but it itself is not a magical item. Uh, so okay. don't waste the slot. Uh, desk of war. Well, I can ritual cast it. That's why I was asking. <laughs> um, is the desk worth investigating? Like uh, the interior? eastern side where you look there, Milo, appears to have a nautical themed with like a basking bronze dragon on the other side. Ooh, a nautical theme, you say? Yep. Kai's. Is it nautical I'd nonsense? Like to... It'd be something I wish. Uh, the top of the desk has parchment that is just curled inwards like a dead spider, and just if you even so much as breathe on it, it just turns to dust. Um. There are drawers on the okay. left and right side. Yeah, I was going to check Yeah, those. but the... Hey, hey, so question. Did both of our detect magics pick up the abjuration? Yes, both of you would, would have detected that. <clears throat> hey, Milo, I'd be careful about opening these drawers. All right. Notably, Just... as you actually make your way around, you notice that on the ground next to the right side, uh, the right side drawer, uh, there's a pro yes. broken crowbar on the ground. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Uh, Monty, question, because this actually might be very beneficial. The <laughs> magic that's on this desk that's abjuration, is it similar to the abjuration magic that was on the door to the Valentinius house? Um, It's just abjuration. I can't give you details like that, unfortunately. That is Got not it. how detect magic works. Cool. All right. Just wanted to ask. Uh, Monty. Yes. With my background, would I know of any way to safely transport any of these papers and or restore them. I'm putting a hand on your shoulder, Mark, right now as a friend. I'm going to tell you right now, Chief, they're doomed. There's no <laughs> way. Okay. Thank you, I'm Kermit. So I'm sorry. It's all right. I'll, I'll mourn the papers on our way out. All I need to do it's just use the key on the desk, shrink it, and take it with us. I mean, if anyone wants to open the uh, open the desk drawers, I was warned not to, so I'm not going to. Mm -hmm. Hey, Milo. Hi. Can you dispel magic by any chance? I can. It takes a lot out of me, but. I only ask because it might be safer if we did that. How about we go investigate everything else and then we'll come back here? Yeah, probably good. Sorry, Chief. I'm not blowing a, a one of my two third level slots on a on a whim. Not totally fair. <laughs> Impossible, dud. We could ask the wall if it knows how to open the desk. Hey, wall. Why do I keep? Why do I? You keep could start. <laughs> Why do I keep getting First items? You must that are travel like to the shrine of the silver monkey. <laughs> Go ahead, Zeno. I, all I did was make a joke that every magic item I am picking up is like a phone. <laughs> you are the master of sending. That is true. Beware the temple guardian. You may inhabit the walls. <laughs> the Wait, shrine I can't leave of my the silver monkey. The uh, shrine boy. of the silver dragon. Look, as do long as we're not wearing. Guys? Wait, as long as we're not wearing purple, we should be off. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Looks down. Oh, no. You, the purple oh, man. no. <laughs> oh, we're doomed. As a purple parrots fan, I suffer constantly. Dude. <laughs> their, their existence is nothing but suffering, Monty. It's their whole they've, fucking deal. They've never won. <laughs> they won a couple times. No, they I haven't. I believe you. <laughs> Literally, literally episode. But Monty, I don't know what episode you watch, but literally there is no episode they have ever won. <sighs> anyway, let's open the door. All right. <clears throat> you find the shrine of the silver, of the silver monkey. monkey. Also, fuck as, you, Mark. As the door. Hey, whoa, what the fuck? Whoa. <laughs> what? As, the, as the door is I'll thrown over. You. 
as the door is thrown open, all of you get a whiff of mold. <laughs> like, <laughs> a dense stench of molds. Instantly holding my breath. I'm good for 15 oh minutes. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Gross. I'm just saying. Oh, Milo, walk. you can make fun of Kyle all you want, but you say something about work, it's on site, man. He's too big. He's supposed to be tiny. <laughs> ah. Ooh, is this a library? You see a moldy library containing <gasps> books in varying degrees of condition. However, Boy, most what? appear to be moldy beyond, beyond repair. <laughs> just, All right, uh, for the sake of I brevity, is there is there anything I can read? Roll I an investigation in. check. Oh boy, mold! Let's go. <laughs> no! <laughs> Delicious like mold. Egon Delicious. Here. 22! Give me a book! Give me the book. It crumples in your hand. No! Yeah! It should have been me! <laughs> uh, one second. <laughs> They're gone, Jim. It's a book that says Book of Disintegration, and then you, you open the cover and it says, out check this book? out. A title on it says Dragons Unbound. Oh. And as you flip through it, it appears to be a book about draconic subspecies like wyverns. Mm. Can I pocket said book? Absolutely. It weighs probably about a pound. How big are your pockets? Unbound. May we all invest in a gate? I, I may as well. Yeah. Yeah. Who knows? I find dude. I I will find something. I will absolutely go through books for days. So try them out. East gun rolled a sixteen. Sixteen. Okay. What is investigation? Uh, geez. Uh, eight. I'm not rolling good anymore. Those two uh, nat twenties took it out of me. Yo, <laughs> seventeen. You went big at the top. Nine. Yeah. All right. Uh, Eastcan, as you kind of dig through, uh, you find a book entitled Shattered Minds, A Sane Inquiry into Madness. <laughs> I don't found my book. know if I want to read this. Hey, uh, Kai, you want another book? Yeah. Sure. What'd you find? Uh, I think it's a mad book. Like anger mad or crazy mad? The second one? I can work with crazy. He'll take the book. I do it all the time. Whoa! <laughs> as you kind of just like, just... as you kind of just cautionary flip through the pages, it appears to be detailing afflictions of um, madness and the attempts to try and decipher the ramblings of basically people who have succumbed to madness. We fought one of those. <gasps> Wait a second. Does it does it have any symptoms that empty has shown? By any chance? You'll have to spend a downtime and actually read the book. Okay, cool. Out. Then I'm keeping this book, though. Um, what was it called again? Shattered Minds. A Shattered Sane Minds. Inquiry into Madness. Uh, Milo, as you kind of dig through some of the lower shelves, um, mm. unfortunately, all you find is just mold. You actually take a book, open it, and you just, like, it literally, just a chunk of, like, paper mold hits the ground, and you're like, ugh. <laughs> you, just hear, you just hear, like, the glue stretching out, and it falls out like a, sle a sleeveless cover. Yeah. Uh, Gaius. Yeah, you. Uh, you find a book that has sort of a um, dark embossment on it. Uh, it is entitled The Burning Fields. Ooh. What do, I, uh, what do I gleam from this book on the first couple of pages? It appears to detail vicious guerrilla warfare tactics, specific specifically how to artificially recreate famine. Holy shit! What? Wow. You're holding a war crime book. Holy fuck! <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ! It's as you kind of flip through the pages, it seems that specific intent Bruh. is meant to starve a populace of civilians. Does it feel similar to what's happening to the town? I can't say anything. Jesus uh, fuck! Oh no! Gaius like his My face crunches in as he walks over to everyone else. If anyone wants to read this book besides me, go for it. Yeah, I'll take it. Kyle, take it. Uh, so I have three books. Okay, uh, here you whoop. go. It's called The Burning Fields. The Burning Fields. 
Otho, you just meet the DC. I am so sorry, Gaijin. Oh, sh. Oh, man. This is a DC Damn. 9 Let's investigation. Go. I was not mm. expecting much. <laughs> yeah. I'm very sorry. I'm sorry. You might sorry. not get much, but we'll see. Who? I mean, who knows? I got the Geneva Suggestions book. Uh, Jesus. I mean, this is totally different. Um, Otho, you I find found something... a joke book. You joke, you joke, but legitimately, you find something very out of place, which is a children's storybook called "The Singing Gemstones." It appears to be written in Dwarvish. Huh. Little children's book here. I'll, I'll flip through it. Uh, it's hard to decipher, but it seems to depict a a cute little dwarf. Uh, who is listening to the songs of gemstones. Wait a fucking second. Hmm. On a, on a whim, I'll see what they say about topaz. Uh, as you kind of flip through it and find uh, the topaz, the image appears like you can't read the words. Uh, the image appears to be the the sad dwarf with his cute little pickaxe trying to pick at the topaz gem and crying. He's got little tears running down his face. Hey, is Bonnie. the is the writing like faded or something? Is no, that I can't read it, it is not. We can't read dwarvish. Does anybody speak dwarvish? I do. Dwarvish? I speak dwarvish. <laughs> Oh, oh, you do. Oh, so my God. Okay. Guy, yeah, we I got a couple of people. Every language, Monty. <laughs> I forgot. I apologize. My bad. Um. What language do you speak? Yes. So uh, it talks about how, um, like, you kind of flip through. It's actually the last page is Topaz. Um, and it talks about how the fact that uh, the silly little dwarf is what he's called, the character, uh, mined the Topaz gemstone. And as he mined it, he heard their sorrowful funeral song. Oh my god. Aww. Holy what shit. kind of fucked up children's book is this? Can I, ah, can I this is one of them that? old children's books. Uh, the yeah, it's the book. ones without the happy ending. Can I see this funny book? Yeah, Otho will hand it to Gaius. Anything on Amethyst? Uh, it shows the, the silly little dwarf carrying a little sack of Amethyst gems, and he says, he felt so calm as the gentle soft chimes of the Amethyst <laughs> sang to him. Huh. You seem to be making various inquiries about amethyst in this. I've been given a very... I've been given a very strong tip that something that has to do with amethyst might lead me to my family. Hmm. <laughs> it's coming through the walls! No! <laughs> Microphone punch! <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna keep flipping through the. You know what? Yeah, no, fuck it. Guys is gonna keep flipping through the book. What other funny rocks does the little dwarf friend find? Uh, the first one talks about he must. Uh, the silly little dwarf must rise from his street despite the fact that the diamond on his bedside table sings him such a gentle nighttime lullaby. The amethyst sing gentle soft chimes. Mm -hmm. The emerald makes him laugh, makes the little dwarf laugh as their upbeat plucking of lute strings makes a smile on his face. Huh. The silly little dwarf had to clasp his hands over his ears as the clashing sounds of the symbols of the sapphires made his ears hurt. And the topaz sang their mournful funeral song. The gemstones seem to have some sort of resonance with a song. Like Perhaps a there are specific um... song or No, they're all they're all parts of a song being made together. They're they feel like each gem feels like an instrument of sorts. Perhaps there was a silly little dwarf here that was trying to recreate something. How angered would you be if I held on to this book? Go for it. Pocketing that shit. Stack of books. <laughs> no, die. <laughs> Bang. <laughs> oh, no. Unacceptable. Oh, oh, I can't believe the wall. I just, 
I, I want that book, guy. As fucking Brock Samson looks at him, go ahead. Go ahead. Take my day. <laughs> Take it from me. Take it from uh, me. <clears throat> well, since we all got our investigation checks, I guess that's all we got. Is is this the entirety of this room? Uh, it is just a library. Okay. What do you mean, just a library? Heart, okay, heartbroken, I will leave with that comment. <laughs> Tone it down, the brown rectangle room. Leave me alone, man. I worked for, like, I don't even know how long. <laughs> wow. This is you don't like it? You draw the maps, Connor. <laughs> yeah. Like a custom dungeon. True. Hey, one of those is an L, okay? They're not just rectangles. That is true. I'm gonna fight all of you. How dare you? <laughs> I didn't say anything! <laughs> Especially that, you guys. L is technically a hexagon, right. Monty. I'm really proud of you. Carving the door. Carving the door. The door. Slides open. For some reason, the door is particularly wet. Honestly, yeah. Moist. I mean, this chamber is very moist because of the... <laughs> you had to get right up on the microphone to say moist, didn't you? I was leaning to change moist. the camera on yeah. Wallfly. Moist. Yeah, moist. this wall in particular is very moist. <laughs> Sorry. Moist. <laughs> Echoes. Thank you. Yeah. I'm just describing chocolate chip cookies. Come on, man. Mm. Hold on. Moisture Ugh. is the Sorry, I'm having issues with tokens that I messed up here. Ah uh, yes, the cookie door of moisture. My favor. Oh, that's a long hallway. I hope you like doors. <laughs> I sure do, Mega Man. Yo, dog, I heard you like doors, so I put some doors. Would in you like doors. us to do these one at a time? Serious these, question. These doors are different. They are. Okay. Um, uh -huh. Actually, there's there's something to note here as you guys enter in. Mm-hmm. Um. <clears throat> In front of every single door are are two rusty pythons that seem to have been dislodged from the doors. Hmm. So am I climbing down here? Were they like wet like trying to wedge the door shut or they're on the ground, but they were next to the doors. So you get the sense they are probably like the way that they're set directly in front of the doors. Like it looks like someone probably did something and dropped them in front of the doors. Mm, okay. Hmm. So one at a time, I'm assuming. Up, I, I'm okay with whatever. I, I, if it's that restrictive, I'll, I'll, I'll. Lift no, no, no. That. I just want to. If it's easier for you, I just want to make sure opening, we don't. Go. Yeah, I guess all open doors. Mm -hmm. Open and close the doors now. Go, 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 go. I mean, <laughs> if you guys really want to, I can do it. Like, if you guys want to, it's fine. Go to a door and open it. We can do one at a time. Yeah. Okay. We'll open the first one. Uh, <laughs> Milo, you grab the handle and mm -hmm. pull it. Uh, it actually pulls towards you. Oh. But as the door opens, no. <laughs> there's a horrible smell in this space. <clears throat> it smells like beds. The, the It appears to be a set of four beds, bunk beds, crammed into this tiny little room. On three of the beds there's like an imprint of like a person that like has like like it's like a person shaped divot inside of the stiff mattress uh, hmm. anything magical nope okay uh can i search under the beds as you look underneath the beds there's just cobwebs and dust nothing else okay. nobody here but us spiders oh uh, no thanks the door closes, the beds lean up. Thank God they're gone. <laughs> <laughs> Holy you shit, that was a close one. <laughs> All right. You opening that one, Gaius? Sure, fuck it, why not? One sec, I'm just gonna adjust the camera for the web flag. There we go. It's another All deluge right. of mud water. Gaius, as you kind of grab the door and pull it open, kind of knocking away some of the pythons on the floor. Almost identical room. 
Hmm. Nothing of it, note. Oh, sorry. On the right side, the two bunk beds have similar divots in them. There's also like a weird, almost like... <sighs> it's almost like a lighter sense of the stone in the room, like in the middle. As if something was like there that got moved. Hmm. But it's like an emulsive shape. It's not like a square or anything. It's just like a weird kind of rounded space in the middle of the room. Odd. Very well. Uh, nothing in the uh, nothing in the beds of note. Like by checking them. Uh, as you look beneath them, you look around them. No. Okay. Even touching like the the blankets, they just like pull right off. Like the threads just deteriorate at your feet. Okay. New door. All right. New door. Door. This one's got the firebomb on it. Dexterity saving throws at round. I'm just joking. <laughs> well, uh, it's nice knowing uh, you. Oh, there. You see similar sort of, there's blankets. All the blankets from the beds are in the middle of the floor. Mm. And you see a scratched message in common at the back wall. Ooh. What's to say? As you bring up the light to it and read it, this is what you find. Scary. Look Come behind you. Open inside. <laughs> You like to read oh. the message aloud. Go ahead, Milo. Oh. Uh, Sue, Dravik betrayed us, locked us in to starve after the earthquake to the north. Uh, Mirnor, Eastun, Grenon, and Quiora remember us. Remember our glorious contributions to Teletonia. Or Teltonia. Do any of wow. those names or words mean anything to any of us? Oh, Fuck it's also no. <laughs> it's also in blood, by the way. Oh, good. Thick. Yeah, as you get closer to it, it's like scratched in, but there is blood in there too. Oh, gross! Another I... uh, inquiry for Prometheus, I assume. I guess so. Hmm. Uh, anything in other beds? As you look around, all the blankets are in the middle of the room. You look at the beds, nothing. Okay. Auntie, I have a morbid question for you. Mm hmm. Uh, after that notice, checking the beds, is, is there anything that would indicate, like, long dissolved remnants of creatures? I don't see any dissolved remnants. There's like also nothing. Or like that. There's no dust. It's just okay. imprints in places. Hmm. Uh, can I put a hand on where the imprints would be? Uh, like in the beds? Yeah. Yeah, you place just a like, hand. To see if there's anything there that's, like, invisible. It's, like, kind of like, um, you know, if you've ever, like, spilled something and it stiffens, like the fabric stiffened. Gross. Grody. Okay. Mm. All right. Door. Make sure open. we weren't going to get snuck on. Gaius, as you open that door. Uh, my it, light. To your horror. Bathroom. Bathroom. Toilet. <laughs> Bathroom. <laughs> it's a turlet. Yeah. Yep. Uh, turlet. Why do I the find seat. these fucking things? Because you, you asked for it. You'll find the I do? imprint of a butt. Yeah. You know what? Fuck it. I'll go here. <laughs> May I see it, Lord Frieza? <laughs> you know what? Right. No. I'm I'm no, I'm gonna be a brave boy, because God knows there's probably a magic item in here somewhere. I'm looking First in the turlet. <laughs> oh, Mr. Agni. I've I... played enough Borderlands. <laughs> poop, but very petrified. Oh mommy poop. no! It's Thanks. mommy poop. They Thank, thanks. I love the Binding of Isaac. That's a very, very special kind of gemstone. It is a fun game, though. It is a fun uh, game, but goddamn it. 
Milo, you open that door. Uh huh. More beds. Anything funny in the bedroom? Uh, you. there is a pile of clothes and blankets in the corner. Uh, notably, there is a uh, peeled piece of flesh on the ground. Uh, it looks like funny. whatever it was, like, fused to the floor, and it was torn away. Oh. Uh. Any messages or anything out of the beds? Nope. Okay. Uh. Is, is, is it there? I can't. I don't. Never mind. Last door. Do 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 do. Oh shit! This one has goes. Two of the beds have indentations, assuming something was there once before. But beyond that, there is nothing else. Oof. Well, this is right. familiar. Do do Milo and and Kai still have their detect magic up? Yeah. Uh, let me I see would, how long it lasts. I would I say would, at this point, you probably have like a minute left. And at this point, as you guys are leaving, I'm going to say you applied it to these rooms and it's thusly faded. It's easily I mean, I would just, 10 minutes. I would, yeah. I would just, I would just ritual recast it every time just to have it up. Yeah. So. Yeah, likewise. All right. Last door. Funny door. How funny is... Oh, geez. How did Kai rotate? He flipped. Kai, Kai fell. <laughs> Someone help the boy. He, he's, <laughs> he's, he's walking like he's standing straight on the floor, but he's walking on air. You're I'm walking, walking on sunshine. Whoa. Hold on. Sorry. As you scribe in the door. Oh, scribe in the door. Shove the scribe into the door. <clears throat> we see the best for low. You see what? dirt. Yay. Dirt. Dirt. Is this familiar dirt? And dirt. It's it's earthy dirt. Is it anywhere Earth near dirt. as high quality as the clay in the other? God, no. Okay. Is it blocking it our pathway? It is filling up the entire hallway, yes. Hmm. Now, could I giant's might and athletics the dirt out? Unfortunately, burrowing does not remove it from the space. It just lets you traverse through it. Can I traverse through it, then? You could traverse through it if you wish to. I'm going to pull out my Delver's Claws. Oh, boy. And I look back to the, I look back to the group. Well, wish me luck. Let's see if these work. Oh, boy. And I'm going to punch my way through the earth. All right, Knuckles, calm down. I ain't going to let it get to me. I'm just going to... As you, like, dig into the dirt, you guys just... It's like a watching a mole recess into a hole and just vanish. Um, however, the moment you actually feel like the dirt stop and you find yourself kind of like tickled in a weird way and oh, you kind no. of blink and you, you find yourself in a face full of roots, like plant roots. Oh. And as you kind of look around with your dark vision. Oh. Oh. Zombie. Oh. Z button. Oh, there's the button. <laughs> you see a familiar room. And you see oh. on the ground, face down, the leathery remains of someone. It is gaunt. The oh. eyes are sucked in. Their jaws tight and slack. They have been in here just dried. Jeez. Uh, can I check the corpse? As you check the corpse, their robes were probably once very nice. However, as time has consumed them, like so too as it consumed the color and the quality of the robes. But as you're checking the body, you can't help but notice on the wall behind you a rather ominous message written in blood. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Hmm. Another one? Another, Another one. one. What is the funny blood message? Oh, oh it's in red. 
Oh, dark mode, why? Oh, that's our ominous, work. Right. Our works have gone unnoticed by the gods. Have not gone. Have not. Have not. Gone not. Have not gone on. Oh, wow, I'm fucking terrible. Have not gone unnoticed by the gods. Our works yeah. have not gone unnoticed by yeah, the gods. Yeah, it was red on white. I'm like, wait a minute. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot. <laughs> Uh, what would happen if I decided to, uh, dig my way through this side? Did, uh, did, did he I... make, like, a physical tunnel, or, or did he just no, sink through you, the... No, you don't create a tunnel that would be, like, you know, merth, move Earth or, like, specific mm -hmm. spells. You just, you can just traverse through the ground, so you don't leave a trail behind you. Gotcha. Uh, you could, but knowing what you know about the decom rooms, that probably will just lead to endless dirt. Forever dirt. Damn. Endless Damn. dirt. Well, All that right, answers well, our question about where that place endless was. Endless trash! Sorry. Then I'll, I'll come, I'll just burst my way out. Like, Homer, like... Coming, Homer coming out of the bush. You <laughs> find anything good? Found a corpse. Another blood-soaked, scrawled message. Our works have not gone unnoticed by the gods. Oh, good. I would say that's decidedly not good, but that's just me. I wonder if that was the earthquake. Aye. So now that leaves us with the <laughs> final door. We have become one, finally. <laughs> <laughs> We've become Guy Low. <laughs> What about Myas? Oh, that's 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 much better. <laughs> that's the Myas touch. <laughs> oh my goodness! Wow, Monty. What? From the past commercial, right there. You still have them here sometimes. Do you? Well, that's funny. yeah. I could be wrong though. I haven't watched TV in a while. Same though. All, All right. right these, so... this, these doors actually have handles on the front of them. Oh. oh, I thought we were going to have to, like, punch our way through solid crystal here. <laughs> wow. They are, however, very large doors. Now is my time. Like, they're 20 <laughs> feet tall. Now is my time. <laughs> giant smite me, Captain. All right, you giant smite. What is your strength score? My strength score is 18. 18. As you grab the door and try and pull it open, you're not strong enough. You're going to need some help. I will. Wait, oh, do doesn't do Giants might give advantage on strength checks? It's not a check. You have oh, to have a score. Gotcha. It's, a, oh. it's a score check. It's a score. Gotcha. Uh, mm. Guys like turns his head and looks at everyone else. Well, if I tie a rope to the end of this, could you all give me a hand? <laughs> Milo's five foot, uh, three foot self. I can help. I'll be he's there. Got, <laughs> he's got spaghetti arm. I'll do my best. All right, then I will. I will give what remaining bit of <laughs> rope that I have to tie to one of the latches and give them for slack. All right. Who is helping you? Is it going to be Milo and someone I shall else? Assist. Can we both okay. help? Yeah, you can. Eskan, what is your strength score? And Milo, what is your strength score? <laughs> my strength score is twelve. 12? Mine okay. is eight. <laughs> okay. Actually, uh, with the three of you combined, you grab onto the door and you have to kind of like move backwards as you slowly pull it backwards. Uh, at the back end of the line, I'm going to just guide us so that we're not walking back directly into, into, the, into water. the water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lake over here. You're good. You're good. You're good. You're <laughs> good. So as you open You're up good. the door and the back of the door slams into the wall, Immediately as you look inside, Milo, you have light, right? I do. You ever see like animals when you with the headlights and you, those refractive eyes? Oh no! As you look into the room, you're immediately met with the sight of several zombies. And I would like everyone to roll initiative, please. Oh boy, my oh, favorite! What? Here we go. Come on, baby! 17! Oh, Milo is ready. Milo 14. is ready. <laughs> Four. Do we have funny music? Easton was not ready. 
15. Boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. And you know what? Fuck it, because we've all, I'm gonna roll for the boy. The lad. Also a 15, because consistency. Oh my goodness. Oh my grace. Consistency of the 5e wizard. <laughs> wizard, good. Talk amongst yourselves. I gotta look something up real fast. So, so I cast Fireball. I was gonna say, I'm like ready to just destroy. I would love to help you guys out, but I'm going to be going after the mold on the walls has a turn because I'm ah, hella Fair stuck. enough. <laughs> Careful about that mold, though. Yeah. What color is the mold? If it's black, we're in trouble. Yeah. I don't think we. I don't think mold is good, period. If it's well, blue, some it's delicious. Are good. What are you fucking... <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> no, sorry. Arguably... 80% of the cheese you eat is a mold. That's fair, but I also don't want to think a fuck about that. <laughs> Just because it's true doesn't it's mean it's true. Just because he said it. Yeah. Penicillin is fine. <laughs> yeah. Oh my penicillin god, is a that's mold right. Too. No, no, they, yeah. that's they right. laugh at the man who discovered the penicillin. And then he died. Okay. Who's laughing now? <laughs> penicillin poisoning. And then, he, and then he ate all the penicillin. You want to know? Penicillin poisoning. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I'm too healthy. <laughs> <laughs> the antibiotics fought off everything. Gurk, gurk, gurk. Everything. Even all the good bacteria in my system. <laughs> There's a Mass Effect question for you. Do biotic users, can they take antibiotics? You're fired. <laughs> I mean, hey, it's a question that's never been explored in universe. I'm I don't know. Saying. Why don't you ask Kaden? Oh, he's dead. Never mind. I, I use I use not in my place. Cylin gun to fucking oh, I, turn man. off their biotics. <laughs> I'm not a big fan of vanilla gun. bread, so <laughs> I love the idea. It's basically a pellet gun that just stops <laughs> biotics. <laughs> it just sh shoots the pills down their throat. The, their biotics turn off. Oh no! <laughs> You've taken my power. I'm gonna Sorry. wait. What the? Oh, oh no! That's such a dumb bit. <laughs> I don't know why I'm putting so much effort into something that I think is about to explode, but I have to write all these down. I mean, you say that, but... <laughs> oh, Sorry, I'm just looking something up really fast because I need to know. Sorry, I need to done. know. Tell no, don't baby we're about to blow, we're about to blow your zombies to up. Know. He deserves it. How rude. How rude. How rude. Alrighty, let's check that initiative. Why you gotta be so rude? Monty, does the Olivers have kombucha? Uh, they have poison, yeah. <clears throat> that tracks. Uh, alright. Wow, Milo. Okay, Milo saw zombies in primes. <laughs> uh, yeah. And yeah. Cocked, cocked his gun. <laughs> By that I mean the sensor. Uh, we have Kai. Uh, oh, wow, perfect. And then we have, uh, Mark. Work. Mark, Mark. And then we have, guys. Uh, he'll go before me, though. Yeah, that's right, because this thing's higher than you. Guys. Far more dexterous than you are. Not by much. Far more. Listen have... here. The scale's exponential. Come at Coco. me. And then we have Scan. Yep. If you want to put, like I said, if you want to put the mold in the initiative order before me, that's totally. Fine. Oh, trust me. Uh, don't, don't, uh, don't count yourself out too quick, kid. All right, <laughs> Milo. As the door opens and suddenly the light is caught by the reflective eyes of these zombies, what do you do? Uh, like a pure reaction. Where's my, where's my drawing? Finally. Okay, there it is. Also, uh. <laughs> I have made a jurisdiction with AOEs with the um, the AOE marker for this game. Mm -hmm. uh, you have to use snap to corner to measure directly down, because if you measure in different diagonals, the size is actually different. So, oh. Herm. just keep that in mind as going forward. That's fine. Um, this zombie right here is going to catch a cantrip sacred flame. Uh, this zombie right here is going to catch a face first of ethereal frying pan um, spiritual weapon. All right, well, let's do one at a time. Yep. 
Uh, so starting with, or wait, am I misremembering? Hold on, I just want to make sure I'm doing this right. Uh, it's just oh, sacred yeah. flame is just a check. It is snap to middle. Sorry, snap to middle, not snap oh. to corner. Disregard. Yeah. All right, sacred flame dexterity saving throw for Mr. Zombu. Yep, DC sixteen. Uh, that is a twelve. That is absolutely a failure. It'd be five okay. radiant. Five radiant damage. As this, these things kind of turn and see you and let off a uh, kind of scream. Their jaws snap. Their leathery flesh gaunt to their their bones. A flash of holy flyer erupts, kind of catching this thing, and it lets out a shriek of pain. Uh, it is still standing, however, and then oh, summon. Okay. Yeah, you know, let's just try and finish it off with the uh, El Kabong. The spiritual weapon of a frying El pan. El Kabong. We got it. My art. Man, I thought the I would have killed it. Holy saucepan. What's happening? Why can't I draw? I ask myself that question every day, Monty. <laughs> what is happening? Freehand. Oh, God. I was on a freehand. Whoa. There we go. There's mm. a frying pan. Okay. Uh, yeah, that right. Actually, that position right there is pretty good. All right. And. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, 10. 10 hits. Go to roll damage. Hey. Free, let's go. They are zombies. Dang. 12. <laughs> clang, clang indeed. As you bash the zombie over the head, it kind of staggers, but it's still standing as its eyes are locked to you. Wow. Oh, I see. Some hardy zombies. I'm uh, I'm going to take my move action to go over here. No. <laughs> no, please. All right. It is now Wark's turn. Wark? Uh, get in there, Wark. Uh, he is going to go, go use the, the help action on the <laughs> first right. Zombo. You got it. Go for the uh, eyes, Wark! Wark just, like, flies through the air and just bites on the face <laughs> of the zombie. Hang! Nice. Like a Muppet. <laughs> like, you know you know that video of Kermit, like, as a vampire biting the neck of that guy? Yeah. Of oh, Vincent Price, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like that. Nice. Alright, Kai, it is now your turn. Uh, Kai... Mid run is going to cast Shadow Blade, move right. over here and stab right, as that guy. You get to there. You begin to assess the reality of uh, the situation. Copy that. Rut row. Oh, 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 can I? <laughs> so that would have changed everything that I did. Well, you it? didn't know it until you moved. So unfortunately, you cannot retract because moving there reveals this information to you. As this room is uh, rife with zombies. And slowly Ooh. rising to their feet and turning their heads towards you are two ogre zombies. Oh. Zombies. No. Zombies. Zombies. Oh, no. Excuse you, they're Orbies? <laughs> no, they most oh. certainly are not. <laughs> Problematic. Oh, boy. I see things in this room, too, that aren't zombie related. Uh huh. Like, be <laughs> very careful. Yeah, why is there a computer in here? Help, That's computer! Chess, well, thank you very much. Oh, okay. Well, and what about that comfy Anna's armchair? Head. Why is that in there? It was Sheikah Slate in here. Little did we know uh, that Anhedonian well, was just an anagram for Alienware. I'm still going to swing at the guy next to me because I really need him to die. Okay. Uh, I could really use him dying. That would be fantastic. 23. 23, that hits. Go roll damage. 11. 11 psychic damage. All right. Yes. Uh, and he dies. Damage taken, so it's good. Okay. okay. As you slash into this zombie with your shadow blade, it cuts through his body but doesn't really damage him. But you see him grab his face and very much like the scream kind of contorts his face as he drops to the ground. Hooray! Yay. That's a... I'll take it. Uh, so I was here. So one, two, three, four. I'm going to go five. Six. Uh, guys, we have a problem! And that'll be turn. All right, that brings us to Gaius. It is now your turn. Walking in there would be completely stupid and catastrophic. Uh, uh, you could you, you could pull them at the door, though, because we have a choke point. You were giant smited already, right? Yeah. Yes. But I can also <laughs> remain... I can remain my size or make myself bigger, should I so choose. Right. That's up to you. Uh, right now, unfortunately, well, would would I take up too much space if I went giants? If I went big, like I would, 
I would uh, not. You be would able essentially to do it plug the door, I... right? Because you're four squares. Yes, this is true. But yeah. you're here, so would that factor true. into it? You can't move that's... through allies. You cannot end your turn in an ally space. So that's a negative right now. Even at different sizes. Yes. Okay. Good to know. Uh. Oh, right. <laughs> uh, could I see the ogre down here from my position? Yep. Sick. I'm throwing a javelin. You got it. Fuck. All right. And once I, if I do hit him, I'm going to proc fire rune. <laughs> uh, isn't fire rune only on melee? <laughs> Uh, let's see. I, I, I just just remembering. Uh, beep, beep, Fire, 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 fire. I, I should not have put everything in here. Uh, fire. when you hit a creature with an attack using a weapon. Okay, yeah, there you go. All right, 23 cool. absolutely hits. All right, cool. So that plus giant's might I can't do. Well, no, wait. I, I don't use range, so this is like the biggest query of all. I'm sorry. I know, it's different. I'm not. I'm, I'm back to my task tactics right now. Hang on. Giants might is tactics. In my tactics. Uh, I'll see myself. Uh, uh, Alright, I'll join you. One of your attacks with a weapon or unarmed right. strike. So it it counts. There you go. Alright, cool. So first javelin damage. Five piercing. Five piercing to the ogre zombie. Alright. Uh, giants might on top of that is three. And fire rune on top of that eight so fire good. and he must make a strength saving throw all right strength saving throw these things unfortunately look very strong i'm aware but i had to do something not strong enough that is a nine Ooh. cool so oh he God. takes so he is restrained and at the start of his turn oh uh, wait what was it uh yeah, on the start of its turn, it takes 2d6 fire, but must repeat its, uh, and is restrained. Must repeat its saving throw to get out. At the end of its turn. All right. Good to know. I believe restrained means it can't take, it has attacks at disadvantage, I believe. I thought restrained was also it couldn't move. I, it's, I think it's both. I just want to see if it can still attack. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think it's only incapacitated that makes mm -hmm. it so you can't act. Uh, yep, okay, yeah, yeah. Attack rolls against it have advantage, and ta its attack rolls are disadvantage. Ah, oh, neat. Yeah. <clears throat> All right, cool. Oh, and, uh, neat. cool. So, let me do one more attack with another javelin. Extra you attack. Same target? Same target. Oh, a 10. That still Damn. hits. Big, big, slow target. Fuck yeah. All right. Let's Eight. go. Eight piercing. Very nice. You huck one javelin into its shoulder. You huck another javelin into its ribs. As the fiery shackles wrap around it, there's this... It shouldn't be pleasant, but there's like this sickly sweet kind of barbecue-y smell coming from it now. <laughs> oh, jeez. Uh, I will maintain this spot, and I don't know how you would take this because it says bonus action on Giant Smite, which I did, but it doesn't specify if I want to grow big or not as an action or what have you, because if that was the case, when there's space, I want to go 10 by 10. Okay, yeah, we can we can just play it like that. Sick, cool, thank you. That's turn. All right, that's Gaius's turn. Otho, it is now your turn. Alrighty. I'm gonna run myself up here. Whoa, nope, that is still- wow. <laughs> Otho explodes. I expand. He's expanding. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> if I explode in this form, I'll throw the whole earth. Just liquidate. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, cube. Will, uh, cube, cube, you're going to want to go to corner. I'm going to run up here. Was there light uh, in that room, by the way, Monty? Uh, no, it is dark. Great. Uh, I'm going to look at the ogre, yonder ogre that is restrained, and I'm going to... Remember, you have to measure down. You can't measure diagonally. You have to measure down. I'm going to fire uh, yonder crossbow. Currently, you have an ally blocking you. They have full cover. Hmm. That, that's why I'm like, yeah, I could plug up the hole, but... Money to the... Uh... Does spiritual weapon have a physical space, or is, is no, it? No, it does okay. not. 
Okay. Uh, then I will instead... Oh, actually, sorry, for square... What on earth? What is going on with that square? Why is it so odd? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Sorry. Why is it green? It should be measuring from the middle. I don't know why it's measuring from the side. That's like a cone. But it should be... It should be snap to corner and measure down like this. Sorry. Just want to fix that real fast. Apologies, Otho. It is still your turn. That's all right. Unfortunately, as uh, you run up behind Gaius and Kai, they're same oh. size category as you, and you, they, your enemies have full cover, unfortunately. Fair point. Um, I suppose then I will simply... Uh, I'll I'll back off and put myself up a against Eastgan. Okay. I will. Hey, how are you? I'll <laughs> take the I'll take the dodge action. All right, you got uh, it. And I will <laughs> use my bonus action to uh, give Gaius advantage in his next attack. You got Hooray. it. Right. That's that my brings, turn. That brings us to Eastgat. It is now your turn. Really? Wow. Yeah. Oh yeah. They they um, rolled they rolled bad and they're not they're not good running. <laughs> well, I can't see anything in that room. So actually, how far would the light coming off of Milo go? Uh, what 30 is the feet? light spell? I believe it's, it's thirty. Um. Hmm. Oh, 20 and then 20. This would be 40. Dim light at 40. Yo. Yeah, so you can see the zombie immediately in front of uh, Gaius there. Like the one that's... This guy? Yeah, that guy, you can see him. Okay, but I can't However, shoot past anybody. Yeah, unfortunately you cannot shoot past him. But you could run ahead of Gaius, shoot, and then run back. <laughs> um, I'm so yellow right now. I suppose I could. <laughs> Welcome to the pit. Can I vault. can I stop in the no. square where his spiritual weapon is? You can, yes. Okay. Yeah, it's, that's what it's, I was it's, asking. It's not, a, it's not a creature. It does not. It, you can't get flanking from it. It cannot mm -hmm. impede space. It doesn't gotcha. exist, but it also exists. It's a ghost. Okay. I'm gonna move here. Okay. Uh, and uh, cry. I will. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, fire a guiding bolt at it. Crying is a free action. All right, go for it. I, I'm I'm constantly crying. That's actually my secret. Uh, oh Jesus Christ! That's uh, gonna be a ten to hit. That hits. It takes eight radiant damage. Not bad. You fire off the radiant bolt, and it strikes the zombie square in the chest, and it is now glowing like a disco light. For my bonus action, I'm going to activate my archer form. Okay. And to do my starry form attack with advantage. You got it. Stack it, buddy. Sorry, guys. Being selfish, because this is the only thing I can see. <laughs> Could you not see also the dude who I have wrapped in chains? Because it's on fire. He can't because he's relying on Milo's light. He doesn't have uh, dark vision. Which, by the way, I was gonna say, Mark, take a point of inspiration because you're honoring your the vision stuff, and I appreciate that. That's really good. Oh, sure. That's really good. Uh, that's a sixteen to hit. Uh, sixteen hits, absolutely. For twelve more radiant damage. Twelve more radiant yeah, damage. Damn. You blast him. His arm is blown clean off. He is still standing, but he is like staggering. Uh, of note, I think I give off dim light for 10 feet now. Let me double check that real quick. Do, 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 do. Sorry, form. Got now all the zombies can it. see you. <laughs> now I am a target. Of, all of, now all of zombie land knows you're here. Yes, 10 foot mm -hmm. radius of dim light. All right. Wait, no, I'm sorry. Cool. Bright light for 10 feet and dim light for an additional 10 feet. Oh. oh. oh he now okay. sees three more zombies. Great. 
I will on. make a mental note of where those Zambos are and then step back behind guys. <laughs> you got this, buddy. <laughs> and then oh, I'll be Jesus. turned. I feel like this is that one vault where I almost got fucking devoured. You guys ever play Left 4 Dead? Oh, yes. Yeah. yeah, of course. You remember the scream that would occur before the horde would come in? Yeah. yeah. All of the zombies in this space, except for the ogre zombie whose mouth is currently lashed shut with a fiery chain, let off a roar. Cool. Roar. <laughs> I hate this. Five. Hey, Monty, I have a question. 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. Yes? Is this dirt? No. As okay. they run across it, it sounds like metal. Okay. Clink, 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 I believe you. Okay. I believe you. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, forty. Thank you for your patience at this time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's right. Forty. This zombie charges ahead. Uh, Rot row, raggy. Five, ten, I see you've chosen poorly. Twenty-five, thirty. This one rushes in and immediately charges you, Gaius. Okay, I believe uh, you. And it is just, it reaches out with its hands and goes for a slam attack. Okay. That is a five that misses very Woo! hard. Knock it off! <laughs> hey, stop it, you! Stop! <laughs> stop it. Bonk. No. Bad. That one goes there. That one gets there. Actually, this one's gonna occupy this space. Uh, and it's gonna swing at work. No! How dare you. Don't put him in harm's way. Uh, that is going to be a 21 to hit. <gasps> yeah, that'll hit. He takes two points of bludgeoning damage. Oh no! He's still alive! Holy shit! As he's like gliding on the face of the zombie, the zombie like football kicks him, but Wark like hits the ground, but he's still alive. Oh my lord! Quite oh literally my the God, most let's go. minimum of damage. The real tank. All right. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty. I'm gonna assume that means the zombie actually did twenty points of damage, but Wark is just super resilient. This zombie is also gonna aim for Wark. Okay, no. never mind. Uh, don't do uh, that. Resist. Uh, that is going to be a 15 to hit, Work. That hits. Uh, work takes. Can we shield Work? there, buddy. Please roll. Low. No, it's six two. points of bludgeoning damage. He's gone. He poofs back into a scepter and clatters onto the ground. Oh, mother. Five, ten. 15. This zombie here is going to go for you, Kai. Uh, wow, they cannot, they can aim for work, but they can't hit you guys <laughs> worth shit. Six. That misses. 10, 15, 20, 30, 35, 40. He can only get there. You guys put me in a really fucking precarious situation. Uh, no, this I, is I, good. This is what we shit. want. They're all stacked up and they can't come through. I have idea. Uh, oh, 15 died. That's for sure. Okay. <laughs> Number 15. <laughs> Number 15. Dead zombie. Imagine you were a zombie who died. Would that be fucked up or what? <laughs> <laughs> Could you maybe come back again or are you dead for good? One person really wanted to know. So he called his local yeah, Burger King. They, I mean, here's the thing. Zombies have like no intelligence. So they, have, they just, they see meat, they're hungry and they run. That is the zombies turn <laughs> as currently Gaius and Kai are like holding the line right now. Oh, let's go. God. All right, top of the turn or Milo, it is now your turn. Oh, the line! <laughs> uh, you know, I think I'm gonna hold off on that. 
Milo is actually gonna call out. Um, if we let them funnel in, we can kill them as they come through. Uh, okay. looking looking at the water, he's like, "Oh, wait a minute." Um, let me go ahead and God, just, just let me let me frying pan the one that's in front of Gaius. You got it. Uh, frying pan, frying pan. Where are you? There you are. Eleven. Eleven hits. Uh, Clang. Bonk. Clang. <laughs> Minimum and damage six. Smack it over the heads. You are going to see Milo. Let's see here. Twenty. Oh, right. Hang You're on measuring. Yeah, you gotta yep. switch uh, back uh, and uh, forth. Uh, 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 uh. Yes. Ha ha. Also, uh, I you're realize gonna... that needs to close right there. You're gonna see Milo kind of move over, like he's trying to position himself across from the water. I, oh, I assume God. I wouldn't have enough time to explain in multiple sentences what I'm trying to do. That'll be turned. All right, that ends Milo's turn. That brings us to Wark, who is a scepter. Um, Kai, it is now your turn as Wark is on the floor in front of you. Above game, I know I shouldn't. In game, I really want to because I'm really pissed. Um, okay. Milo did say to pull back. So Kai is going to do that and get right. one space. Two attacks of opportunity uh, on you. And I'll also activate Blade Song so they don't hit me as hard. And also, Monty, I'm sorry to give you more work. Can you mark where Wark is, just so we know? Uh, I can't really mark where he mark. is because there's tokens He's underneath the zombie him. with the red dot. Yeah, he's on. Oh, he's his token's right still on here. there? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. okay, mark. okay, that works. All right. Uh, zombie to the north. The north, 15 to hit you, Kai. Miss. All right. Zombie to the south. Uh, that is a soft 20. <clears throat> Uh, he's gonna cast shield. Fuck. All him. right, you cast shield with your reaction. Let's go. All right. Do, 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 do. All right. So, yeah, I can still do this. Uh, now that they've burned the reactions on me, I'm going to. Oh no, that might also. You know, this might be a little bit safer. Uh, Kai is going to step up and unleash a shatter in the center of this group because he hey. knows there's just they're all piled up in there. Uh, so he will sing out, what do you do with a drunken sailor? What do you do with a boom? And drop a shatter on them. All right. Uh, so it will be in the dead center of them. So let me measure it out for you. Uh, it's 20 feet, I believe. It is. Uh, it's no, it's 10 it foot. Is. 10 foot sphere. 10 foot sphere? Sphere, yes. All right. Ten foot sphere. Where you want it? Uh, I want it. Yep. Probably like right, right there. there. Correct. All right. We're gonna make this nice and simple. Uh, go and roll the damage, please. Okay, can do. Can someone measure out this circle for me, just so I have it as a? Oh, I got you. Hold on. Just a wet splorch from the other room. Just give me a minute. It's actually taking like so fucking long. So that's seventeen damage with a con save of fifteen for half. Ah, okay. fuck. Sorry, snap the line. God damn it. I'm sorry. I got you. It's, it's, it's snapped a corner, and then you want yeah. to measure Oh, it snapped a corner. My yeah, bad. yeah. All right, mm -hmm. thank you. Just hold just hold it there. <laughs> Everyone's putting a line in. I love it. All right. Fuck. Uh, we'll start to the one to the north. Uh, con save, Anar. you said? Correct. Uh, right. And I will also do it five feet up in the air just to be safe. Nine, that is a failure. Uh, that is also a failure. Uh, that is... Uh, that is a success. Uh, that is a success. Good grief. They're, they're tanky. They're slow, but they're tanky. Uh, success. Is it that half is damage a on natural me? one. Let's go. Is it half damage on success? Correct. I always forget what shatter actually does. <laughs> I love shatter. 
It's also a good AOE spell that's not going to blitz the room like Fireball. Failure. Yeah. Which means uh, this guy pops. He's gone. Yes. Uh, natural 20 from this guy in the back. Mother. That is a success. Sorry, I'm trying to go as fast as I can here. You're fine. That's right. That is a failure. Another natural 20. All right, so the zombies are tied with Milo for most nat 20s tonight. Uh, that is a failure. Yeah, tell me about it. That is a failure. God, that is so huge. <laughs> Please don't blow me up. <laughs> I would like to not be on fire, thank success. you. Success. And last one, uh, success. Uh, half of that 17 is going to be 16, half down to eight, total damage being 17. All right, let me calculate this really fast. Boom. Boom. We thought the zombies were gonna attack us, but really they're just lining up for a flash dance. <laughs> Gosh, we've been practicing for years. <laughs> uh, I'm going to do double damage for the critical failure. <clears throat> Hot and this guy dies. I have to move him because I can't access his token. His buddy is there. He also needs to die. <clears throat> Thank you again for your guys' patience. I appreciate mm -hmm. it a ton. No, you're good. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Sorry, is wizard have big spell? I, I completely understand. It's it's all good. Uh, I don't screw wizards. I hate them. I would never play. Says a wizard. a wizard. I would never play a wizard. Not a good one. Certainly not for six years. No. Go. Critical success. Are we sure Warm Tongue and... isn't like in disguise by any? Like maybe he just. How would we know that? Mark might know. No, he doesn't wear yellow, so we're fine. That's true, he doesn't wear yellow. Failure. It's gonna, wow, by a thread, Jesus. Failure also by a thread, Jesus. Success. Mm -hmm. All right, as you Gallagher the room, two zombies explode into gore, and a raucous sound rocks through the entirety of the vault. You can remove the 10 foot now. Thank you so much for holding that for me. I appreciate hey, it a ton. Hey, Monty. Uh huh. Sorry to add more work onto you, but did the ogre that was restrained start his turn? Uh, yes. He, technically he takes did. Fire, 2d6 fire damage. Go ahead and roll that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He also gets to repeat his saving throw as well. Yes, he does, but he takes the damage first. Also, Kai, my brother in spells, if you just woke the dragon, I'm going to be very pissed. I'm aware. Four fire. All right, four additional fire damage. And he is still restrained. I just rolled. There's no Hot way. Hot damn. <laughs> There's Dang. absolutely no way. Rolled a two. All right. Uh, Kai, does that end your turn? It does. Okay. That brings us to Gaius. It is now your turn. All right. I have been instructed to move the fuck away from the door. But before I do, I have this funky fella in front of me. <laughs> and you have entered my zone of control, idiot. Here I go with my greatsword. <laughs> Hit him. Hey, 13. That, so hit, that hits. Wait, that's the wrong thing. Shit. I meant to... Shit. I meant to use the, uh... The great... Oh, well, whatever. I'll just take this. You're whatever. good. Might as well take it. It's pretty good damage. Yeah, it's pretty good damage. I'll take it. So that plus this. So, holy fuck. Hey, whoo. Holy shit. That's... 18 that's damage. 18, that's 18 damage, which... It was going to survive with its undead fortitude, but with that, it is gallagher and falls to the ground dead. Gaius now knows what it's like to use folded steel. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I just pulled shot. a fucking Virgil combo. The Damascus blade strikes true. All right, we All were right. told to move, so... I just, I just imagine on the left side, hand, left hand side of your screen, it's like the Metal Gear Solid scrolling wheel of just all your fucking weapons. Just... <laughs> <laughs> Boss, you took too many things with you. No, I didn't. Bring. No, I did not. All right, I'm. I'm 
gonna move myself back here. Wait a minute. Hold on. Before I finish my end my turn. No! <laughs> no! Oh, Circle! Self-destruct. <laughs> I can no, I can't because my allies are in front of me. Unless I get big, then can I f uh, shoot over them? You can, yes. Uh, actually, also you're measuring from the wrong space. You need to measure from. Centaur. Snap to centaur. Technically, these Snap guys are back to the behind center. Snap pretty to the decent center. cover, but you can easily target that guy there if you go big. Center. Sure, sure. I'll go. I will go big. Don't put me in the acid, and I will throw a javelin. <laughs> you got it. Fifteen. Fifteen absolutely hits. Seven piercing. Seven piercing, not bad. As you throw the javelin, it gores the zombie square in his chest. All right, so since I've gone big, I will take one more step back here. You got it. All right, is that end your turn, guys? Uh, let me double check my movement before I do say that's the end. Sorry. Pick to center, for fuck's sake. <laughs> Alright, so I moved from here... 20... I could actually get to here. Am I out of the acid if I get to here, though? Uh, yeah, you are. Okay, sick, then I'm moving my full movement over here. Alright, that that's turn. your turn. Alright, yep. that brings us to Otho. It is now your turn. Alright, I'm gonna shimmy on over into the spot that whoop now I'm self destructive. <laughs> Quit exploding! <laughs> We're all Quit broke. exploding everyone. Stop Go exploding, on, you cowards! It with me. <laughs> this fight is unwinnable. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna aim yonder crossbow at the restrained ogre zombie. You got it. He's a big target, so you can easily shoot over the head of the zombies. Oh, you have yes. advantage? That's, that's what I counted on. I do have advantage. Which means you also get seek attack. That is the goal. Um, well, that is not the correct number. Uh, it should actually be 15. That hits. I'll roll to see if I crit. I do not, but... <laughs> you get 21, though. 21. It is a 21. 21, which is actually like a 24. Four. Uh, yes, that is a da -da -da -da, crossbow 1d8 plus 4 with sneak attack. Uh, he'll be taking nine piercing plus nine sneak attack damage. There you go. Easy enough. You fire a shot into the eye socket of this ogre zombie, and it kind of lets out a pathetic moan. Its body is so, like, worn, it's actually hard to even see its features anymore. Uh, however, you do see some brackish black, like, blood kind of dripping down the eye socket. Okay. <laughs> and then I'm going to run on back, and I'm going to use my Master of Tactics to give, uh, E-Scan advantage on his next All right. attack. E-Scan, you advantage on your next attack. Hooray! And your turn, Oko? All right, E-Scan, it is now your turn. Excellent. I can see this guy, right? Uh, yeah, absolutely you can. Now that you're oh. glowing like a disco ball. I'm for the old e -scan special. I'm... I just want to point out before you continue, you literally ran in, you're like, oh, there's like two zombies. And then like on their <laughs> turn, it became like way too many zombies. It's like seven zombies now. <laughs> way too many zombies now. <laughs> uh, yeah, so since I can see that guy, I'm actually going to hold out my hand and I'm going to upcast Ice Kniffy. Oh, Ice Kanifi. Oh, it didn't upcast. It didn't ask me if I wanted to upcast. That's um, right. You can just upcast you can just it with manual, the dice. You can just manually yeah. roll it. Yeah. Uh, so it's a 24 to hit. Absolutely hits. And you're aiming for this guy right here. This guy right here. Yep. Got it. And it's going to be 3d6 cold damage. Whew. And each creature within five feet of him must also uh, roll... Uh, it's no, save. they, yeah, it's a dex saving throw. Oh, dex, oh no. Yeah, no. They, oh, there we go. So actually, it's 1d10, oh, sorry, it's 1d10 piercing damage. So here's the piercing damage to the actual target. Oh, it's my It's gonna Lord. be nine. All right, nine piercing damage. One second, let me just roll something here. <laughs> <laughs> nope, he is gone. 
And as he goes down, he explodes in a shower of ice. Oh my god. Oh my uh, god. The DC is 15 dex save, or each creature within five feet of him is going to take 15 cold damage. All right. Fuck we're we're going we're gonna to go clockwise here. So starting with the uh, zombie to the north. Uh, that, no, he takes the full 15. <laughs> that no. <laughs> yeah, no. no. <laughs> Uh-uh. Yeah, no, actually, uh-uh. there's no way they can even pass it. All right, so zombie to the north. Gone. He explodes as the ice explodes. His head is blown clean off. Oops. This zombie here. Uh, that is also a failure. I'll uh, also, I'll do this for you. Also fucking explodes. Oh no, I I put a blue mark there to know where I'm at, so you okay, could, cool, you cool. have to measure it out. I mean, to be fair, this was an explosion of shatter and now this. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Thunder and ice, baby. A zombie here, you can't see my My pain. favorite. Uh that is a failure as well. Uh that's gonna be fifteen on the top fifteen, which is exactly its HP. Let's go! Which means it is gone. I like to Back think team. whatever deity provides me with this I'd druidic like, power. I'd like to thank water in its solid form. <laughs> oh. uh, this <laughs> zombie here survives. Oh, this it's a big right, sir. Here, uh, succeeds, actually, surprisingly. Got a 17, Ooh, which I assume beats your DC. Yeah, DC is 15. Uh, so he takes seven damage unfortunately and then uh nope gone <laughs> man their only weakness dude jumping <laughs> and big big ogre zombie big mclarge huge big mclarge huge <laughs> double check to make sure Nope, he's also, fails. also very bad. 10, that is a failure. He takes the full 15 as well. Nice. As the ice explodes into the room, you just hear a bunch of like, ah, and kind of shouts of pain as the zombies are fallen. No skedaddle out of there. I can see this guy too, right? Uh, Yes, I would say he has some cover though. He does. Plus two to his AC, I would say, just because he's kind of behind the door. That's fair. Uh, closest concern, oh, so I am going to use my bonus action to hit him with my bolt of uh, light Pew! that I get. I, I say it as if the two AC is going to help him. It but, might. You know, with the way, it it might, the way Mark rolls, it might actually help him. <laughs> it might uh, or I could roll no, Never mind. Absolutely <laughs> not. <laughs> So he's going to take six radiant damage. All right, he takes six radiant damage. All right. And then... you, you, I like to imagine you guys are just throwing shit in there while running away. Just like, nope, nope, nope. It's, oh, yeah. However, it's... things are falling between the efforts of everybody. The javelins, the explosions, and the frying pans. Everything seems to be kind of working. And I will retreat back here behind Otho. All Hi, right. Otho. It is now the zombies' turn. Big boy, big, 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 big ogre man restrained takes fire damage. We'll do that when we get to him. We're going to do the zombies okay. first, and then we're going to get to the ogre zombies. Uh, I'm just going to do this. Five, that felt two, good. I haven't been able to use Ice four. Knife in a really long time. Yeah, because well, yeah, there's always people in melee. Yup. <laughs> they can't attack. They just dash. Dash, dash. Uh, here I go. <laughs> here I go. <laughs> Which way did he go, George? Which way did he go? Uh, attack ah. of opportunity. Actually, no. Use your reaction. So, no attack of opportunity from you. These guys are so fucking slow. <laughs> oh. oh fuck. It's not our fault. We only have one good leg. My good tendons. I almost said my good tendies. 
No, no. I, I'm ex-naying the zombie tendies. That's not a thing. <laughs> Oh, this didn't work as well as we thought it no. would. No. They I was curious why we weren't just funneling them through the yeah. thing. Yeah. It's I, all right. I, Milo has a plan. I trust in him. I Yeah, I'm just... I don't want to shit on what Milo's going to do. Now, if it was Kai's plan... The problem plan, is they're blocking it. If it was Kai's other. plan, then you should absolutely shit on it. Sorry, what'd you say, Monty? They're, they're actually blocking each other because they're stupid. Let's go. So they don't know. They're just charging you because they don't have any mm -hmm. idea what they're doing. Well, I'm staying here so that the big guys can't get in. Uh. Fine. No, I should have ready to. I should have ready an action. That was my bad. I mean, you yeah. can still do it on your turn, though. No, I can't. Cause you're in the way. Uh, what's a big? What's a good fire? Honestly, do it. Do it anyway. Dare you? <laughs> he would not do that. I'm very dexterous. You'll be fine. He can get there. This zombie actually trudges through the water. Oh. <laughs> you Now he's an irradiated zombie. Yup. have to check and see, actually, if he, if he actually gets affected by the water. That was kind of the idea. <laughs> oh, okay. It is, it is a specific damage type that they are, they are vulnerable to. Con save. Uh, how do you fail? Okay. <laughs> uh, roll a d4 for me, Milo. Yeehaw. He just walks into the water and just disappears. <laughs> <laughs> three. He takes three points of acid damage. Hot dog. He's about to become one. Hey, I'm not eating that bratwurst. I think so. All right. That... Ends like the oh, start of the turn. Roll damage for the ogre zombie uh, with the chains. You're still stuck there. Hey, wait, guys, oh, wait for me! Oh my god! Campfire! Woof! It's a roast in there. See There's frozen out. barbecue in the other room. <laughs> unfortunately, you feel the chains break. As unfortunately, he rolled a okay. soft twenty to get out of them. But. That's his turn. He can only do that at the end of his turn, so he's still just there. <laughs> hey! hey. <laughs> Where'd everybody go? All right, top of the turn order, Milo. It is now your turn. Oh, boy. this didn't Get him, Milo. I thought... <laughs> get, get him, Milo. This did not go the way that I thought it could. Uh... <laughs> That's right. We learn. We move. Do it. You learn. I have a better idea. So, like, okay. <laughs> like Chaozu... In Dragon Ball Z, Milo tries to grab onto guys and then uh, no, no, detonate, no. Not, in, not in Fireball, no. uh, but in, in, in uh, Radiance of the Dawn. There you because go. I can Because I can actually select targets. Yes. That's what I thought you were going to do. All right. I wanted a Fireball or at least something uh, to the extent, but it's like, okay, this is the fallback. I didn't fire a ball in the other room because Kai doesn't know what's in there. Oh, wait, wait, wait. So. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Uh, I need to do the thing. Circle, snap to corner. Yeah, that, that helps me. Well, it's, it's coming from it's, you. Oh, right, center. center. Yeah. yeah. So I'm going to give you an aura. I think so it's, it's 20. Oh, it's 30. Excuse it's 30. me. 30. Okay, you can get rid of that. I have an aura set on you. Oh, okay. All right. Let's do Our, this shit. Con save 2d10 right. plus 5 because that is cleric level. Starting the northmost zombie that is currently trying to attack uh, Gaius. Natural 20. Oof. I'm very sorry. For this the guy, opponent. Oof. <laughs> this is the peak zombie. Uh, the zombie beneath him. That's more like it. Uh, that is going to be... Is con save or is it... Con save. Uh, that is going to be a, uh 8. Okay, that will fail because well, so cool. that way I have it as well. Oh, just the straight. Okay, uh, yeah. two d ten plus five. No, not twenties. Okay. Uh, eight. Thirteen. Thirteen points of damage. Yeah. Okay. Thirteen radiant. All right, thirteen radiant, which means he has to roll. Nope. Uh, he is eviscerated, like, uh, yeah. Super Smash Brothers yeah. trailer. The light just absolutely devours this zombie. 
Oh, technically you shouldn't even roll for that, because that was radiant damage. Uh, this zombie here. Con save. Natural one! Yay! Woo! Uh, Double uh, damage. He's, yeah, he's gone. He's just, he just, he's just turns to, he like waves as he turns to dust. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna get him, guy! Oh! Uh, that is going to be an 18, which is it half on a success. That is correct. So that means it's going to be six. Alright, so found number 26. Alright, zombie there. I'm just gonna make this fast so that way, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, that is a failure. Mm -hmm. He takes the full 13. To be completely honest, gang, I wanted to put a um, sphere of fire right there. So when they funnel in, they would just all periodic, they would all just be taking damage, just going through the fire. Oh, <laughs> well, we could have created like a- Exactly as HP, this zombie is also turned to dust. Yay. We could have supported you by putting like a little cone of people, like me, Gaius, and maybe Otho. It was just, we were- behind them. Yeah, I mean, we just, we just couldn't coordinate. It happened so quickly. That's all, it's all good. good. We're handling it. Excellent news. It's yeah. Uh, another zombie dies as they're wow, yellow light. Hooray! Uh, Hooray! Technically... Do, 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 do. Uh, God's light, fail. I smite thee. <laughs> I mean, it's it's emanating kind of from you, so you I'm know. I'm not gonna lie, I expect you guys to open this door right at the beginning, <laughs> but you didn't, so <laughs> I was a little thrown off. Uh, it, it, we weren't sure if we could open it, honestly. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I didn't think it would have handles. 15, does a 15 pass your DC? Nope, DC 16. Nope. Right, I didn't think going. it would have handles, let alone hands. It would throw them. All right. And last but certainly not least, the ogre zombie uh, fails and takes the full 13. Let's go. Rip. All and right. Then, that, one, that one took it as well, correct? Yep. Yeah, yeah I already okay. did that. Okay. Uh, bonus action. Let's move that uh, funny ethereal frying pan, uh, if I can get my stick. I'm just gonna grab the circle because if not, I'm gonna lose control. Circle gets the squeeze. Music I'm make you lose control. Lose control. Uh, yeah, let's give him a bonk. Um, give him a bonk. Bonk. Old bish bash. Uh, 14. 14 hits. Ooh, whammo. Nine I'm force damage. Up. You smack the zombie's head, his neck like crunches into his rib cage, so his head is just like in his like chest essentially. However, he is still fighting as a zombie has yet to take damage, actually. Okay, I only moved 10, so I'm gonna move 10 back. Do maternal glory kill them. <laughs> <laughs> and then I've got 10 left to work with, so I'm just gonna go here. You got it. Head down. Okay, that's turn. All right, that's turn. That brings us to Bark, who's a scepter on the ground. Uh, he is right here, actually, I'll mark. Uh, Seems like right here. Right. Where did you he go? Was, like, right here. Yeah, yeah. that one. My yeah. walk dumb. Yeah. Uh, uh, Kai, it is now your turn. Cool. Uh, I'm gonna cut the guy to my right because I think he got hit. So. All right. I'm gonna knock him out. Here we go. Mama said, mama said knock, knock you out. out. Basically. Uh, natural twenty. Oh, mama yep, said knock you out. Go. Oh. Uh, seven, eight, nine. That's gonna be uh, nineteen points of damage. You cleave this thing by, like, basically, like, a, a vertical slice. It doesn't cut through the body, but there's just, you know it did damage, as there's, like, spurts of blood gushing from the eyes, ears, and nose as this thing crumples oh. to the ground. Otho, you could tell Kai is pissed after Wark went down. First the shatter, and then this thing getting eviscerated. And then he'll Dang. just point the shadow blade at the one in front of him. You got it. And that'll be turn. All right, Gaius, it is now your turn. All right, I'm going to focus my... I can reach big boy, yes? Yes, you can. Focusing efforts on him. Here I go. Kaboom. Uh, stalag bite. Here I go. 18. Absolutely hits. All right, so Woo! 13 plus Ooh. giant might. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. And I'm going to proc a fire rune on him. Okay. Eight fire. It's gonna be 18 plus 8, which is 20. Oh my Get God. chained me, in the acid. You gave me you gave me difficult math. Just give me one second here. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, no, no. It's good. It's just it's the way the way it goes. Yeah, yeah. It's just the way it is. All right, so that's that. Plus, whew. All right, you kind of 
it's this thing is it's kind of waiting in the water. You notice it's like the blood in its body is like leaching into the uh, the water itself. And you see that you quickly flip the your axe and just do a solid slice into its shoulder. And the zombie reaches up and like grabs the hilt of your weapon, trying to like push it off. And you just flex your muscles and invoke that fire rune, and it sh- spreads across. Strength, I believe, strength saving throw. Yep, but I'm not done yet. Unfortunately, this time the shackles are unable to find purchase as it shrugs it off. Oh, that's okay. I'm very sorry. 25. Second swing, let's go. Oh, 15 God. slashing damage. Jesus Christ. You cleave into the other shoulder. Now, both of its arms are kind of like butterflied out and kind of slawing at its side. This thing hasn't even had a chance to swing its weapon, and it looks like it's near death's door. And I will remain where I am, and that's turn. You got it. That brings us to Otho. It is now your turn. Alrighty. Um, <clears throat> well, I don't want to... This is just like a puddle, right? It's. Uh, it goes to eight feet deep at its deepest point in the middle. Right here? Uh, where the kind of dotted lines are, it's the chute, but it's also where it's at its deepest. So it's difficult terrain as well. Okay. I'm just gonna, you know what? I'm just gonna stay right where I'm at. I'm gonna take a little bit of a risk. I'm gonna pull out the frozen dagger. And I'm going to chuck it at yonder ogre zombie. Okay. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. It's a nine. It hits. Hey! hey! They're they're uh, slow and big. I don't know what to tell uh, you, man. Uh, that is one d four plus four uh, 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 cold uh, uh, damage plus sneak attack because Gaius is there. Sneak attack. Sneak attack. Uh, six cold. Six cold. plus. Ooh. Ten sneak attack. Sixteen total damage. Damn. Oof. All right. Uh, and I will, I will go ahead and I will give uh, Kai advantage on this next. Well, hold test. up here. As you fight, you throw the dagger like, oh, I just bought this. You throw it into the back of the ogre zombie's head, and it crashes into the water face first and just slowly begins to melt. <laughs> Ooh. He had a bad day. Yeah, he had a very bad day. Got him. There's like a little ogre island here, by the way, because his body is like. <laughs> <laughs> it really puts the, walk it puts the whole kitchen together, you know? <laughs> it really does. <laughs> All right, like what sorry, you did with ogre. Uh, please continue, as that is your, your action, and you said your bonus action. Yeah, bonus action is just going to be giving Kai advantage of his next attack, and I'm just going to stay right here. Why not? You got it. All right, that brings us now to Eastcan. It is now your turn. Well, um, I guess this guy right in front of Otho looks kind of mean. He does, yeah. So I'm going to move over Mm -hmm. here. Mm -hmm. Uh, Slide to the left. Yeah. And then when I'm done, I'll slide back to the right. (laughs) Uh, He's going to get a guiding bolt to the face. Okay. Thank you. Oh, no. Maybe he isn't. Ten? Maybe. Maybe. 10 hits. Oh, let's, let's go. go. 14 Lazy. radiant damage. 14 radiant damage. He looks like he is hanging on by a literal thread. As oh. you blow up the entire center part of his chest cavity, his ribs are obliterated. Gone. No longer do they exist. There's just a hole there in arms. It's really a shame that he's holding on because I was holding on to this bonus action. <laughs> With advantage, that's going to be a 20 to hit 20 for hits. 9 radiant damage. 9 radiant, which means he's gone. You explode him in radiant. Uh, I always keep forgetting if they do radiant, they don't check to see mm-hmm. if they survive. Uh, however, you fire off the guiding bolt and, like, blow out his chest, and he, like, leans down and looks through his chest, like, the front of his chest backwards to look at you, <laughs> Eskan, and you're like, bang, and you just shoot his head clean off. And I'll slide to the right. <laughs> cha-cha, Chris real smooth. Deep, 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 deep. No, I will cha-cha, never real slow. That's dangerous. Uh, Let's that'll go be to work. <laughs> All right, so Monty, I want to see you do the cha-cha slide now. Oh. 
All right, it is now the enemy's turn. The zombies, uh, starting with the zombie next to you guys, is going to go for a slam attack against you. All right. Come on and slam. Uh, that Welcome is going to be to a 19 to hit you. I appreciate you, yeah. Gadget. Yeah, yeah. They got to get something, man. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> yeah, uh, Somebody's got to do something. Two points of bludgeoning damage as he punches you in the knee. Monty, they did do something. They dropped Wark. They did do that. They did, yeah, they did is... get a kill. And we all will remember that. And they're paying uh, for it. They know what they did. This zombie is going to charge you guys. All right. Uh, that's going to be a 20. What the hell? Okay. Soft okay. 20. <laughs> okay. Uh, you nice. take seven 20? points of bludgeoning damage. Okay, Al. What are you buying, Gaius, that they keep charging you? This guy is going to attack you, Kai. Unacceptable. Uh, that is no, it's unexpected. Uh, thirteen to hit. Got him, Monty. Uh, this zombie here is gonna do the same thing. Nope. Uh, uh sixteen to hit. Aha! That'll miss. All right, and then this zombie is gonna go for you, Otho. No, but I was tanking so good. Uh, sixteen to hit you, Otho. Otho. Connor. Connor, don't oh, die. Are the dogs Sorry. barking? Sorry, I was looking at the dogs real quick. Uh, what's that? 16. 16. That is my armor class. All right. You take uh, four points of bludgeoning damage. Ow. <laughs> Punched you in the arm really hard. <laughs> How dare you? I'll be... Uh... Uh... <clears throat> God. It's like when you work with coworkers and they fuck you over. I am... Um... <laughs> Sucks he charges through. Uh, you get a tactical opportunity if you wish to take it, Kai. I would love to. All right. Uh, all right. 11. 11 hits. You have advantage. Let's go. Oh. Eight. You have advantage, yeah, if you want to oh. try and fish for a crit. Sure. Crit that bitch. Oh. No. Nope. All right. Eight psychic, though. That's not bad. Give that man a crit. I was hoping to all save right. the shot for one of them, but I'll you take it there. The dashes, uh, and that ends his turn, which brings us to Milo. It is now your turn. All right. I love how they just block their own way. I oh, know. Him. You can block your own way. way. Block <laughs> your own way. Uh, let's get a crispy scorching. Sorry, I'm, I'm actually feeling a little barfy. I might have to step out for a second. No worries, no um, worries. I'm going to sick a nice hot scorching ray against these three zombies right here. You got it. Let's start ping, with the ping, furthest ping. one first. Are you okay with that? Oh, yeah, it's fine. All right. And he up. Yeah. Uh, 19. 19 hits. Uh, nine fire. Nine fire. He's still standing. Like it's crispy. Good. Yep. Second shot. 24. That hits. Hot dog. 10 fire damage. He is barely holding on, but he is still standing, but he takes a sizable amount of damage. Can we get the sequence? Maybe. Uh, Tien. That hits. Four. Four. <laughs> they are all still standing, but look much worse for wear, for sure, I'm... as you set them ablaze. Uh, I'm going to cold clock the one with the ethereal frying pan, the one that's just been getting clocked. This Wailing entire, on the back of the head. It. Wait, no, that, not, not spirit guardian, spiritual weapon. Good grief. Spirit. Hey, that's weapon. a natural 20. Hey. <laughs> that's uh, that's three for Milo tonight. Yep. Just just to Kirby oh, good night. Oh, good night. Man. I just imagine in your brain the crunchiest, like, frying pan hitting noise from Team Fortress 2. Yeah, I was about to say, TF2 clang. <laughs> clang immediately. He is gone. All right, that's turn. I'm in a good position right here. All right, that brings us to Kai. It is now your turn. Noise. I'm going to Shadow Blade the one next to me. He's going to get it, it in the face with an Ooh. 18 and some 10 psychic damage. 10 psychic damage. He's fucking dead. He's gonna roll, die. Roll the two on his undead fortitude. <laughs> it sucks you. to be that dude. Oh. All right. That was great, guys. Uh, we were a little flat in the third section there. Let's take it again from the top. Everyone's a critic. I know, All right, Kai. Right. That was your action. You still have your bonus action. Sure was. I'm gonna be helpful, and I'm gonna do this. Uh, bloop. Nice. All right. And ends your turn. Correct. 
All right, that brings us to Gaius. Turn off the base, lay low on the treble. That 25, let's go. <laughs> you did it. Oh, the guy on the top, 10 slashing plus. Two. <laughs> oh. Two. Twelve. Hey, he's still standing, but he's looking really rough. You know what? I just got this funny new item. <laughs> Holy fuck! So that hits. Ouchie. Double soft 20. Seven bludgeoning. Seven bludgeoning. Plus. No, he rolled really bad. He's gone. <laughs> Bye. You 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 full on like Smash Brothers crit bat him into the wall and he just like oh, stays I... there for a while before he slides down slowly. Oh, uh, bless you, Sakurai, hey. for knowing what hit stun is and how to make it fucking gamified. Let's go. Alright, that was your your attack action, you have your bonus action and your movement. Uh, uh, I don't know if I should waste my action surge on this. You don't I mean, there's, there's a dragon in the other room. Yeah, Correct. I worry about the dragon. <laughs> yeah. So I think. Hmm. That's why yeah, I'm good. Back Thankfully, I'm we haven't been too noisy. <laughs> I'm good here. Just the All sounds right. of death in combat. Oh, so it's now your turn. All right. Uh, I will pull out Law and I will stab at this bitch right in front of me. Stab at Lizombo. Stab at the bitch. Stab that bitch. Lizombo. Zombo com. Uh, that's a 12. 12 still hits. It's a 14, 14. technically. Technically a 14, yeah, but I mean, it still hits. I'm just over here doing my best. 1d4 plus 4. And it's not good enough. That is 7. And then sneak attack. Ooh. Oh my god. Uh, this, is, this is the main reason I moved closer. Connor, you... Connor, do you know how much damage that is? I think it's... Yeah. You full on slice this thing's head clean <laughs> off. All right, with my movement, what's I'm your, going to. What's your ice related pun as you finish him off? That was with law. He didn't use his ice. Oh, he threw it. Remember? Okay. <laughs> what's no, your I mean, law related I mean, pun? <laughs> the, the only one would have been law. <laughs> law. All right, open uh, looks that like I turn? threw the book at you. Uh, hey, there you go. Uh, I'm going to retrieve the frozen dagger. All right, that will take half your movement to retrieve your weapon and pick it up. Uh, eh, I think that would put me at. Yep, that is exactly. exactly right, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Zombie Island. I'm, st I'm staying put right there, but I am going to give. Uh, let's let's give Eastgan again another uh, another advantage on his yeah. next attack. All right. Odd Speaking montage. of which, Eastgan, it is now your turn. I'm the damage boy. I'm going to move over here <laughs> and shoot the thing. And make sure that that's the proper distance to center. Gosh, diggly dang it. It is. I'm going to aim an ice knife at the biggin. Okay. Right there. Here it comes. This is just a regular ice kanifi. Ice kanifi connects. 15 to second. hit. For ice knife damage, that's nine piercing. Plus seven cold. They take seven cold if he fails the DC. Ah, okay. And the DC is a deck saving throw? Yes. For him oh. and his fellow Zombo friend. Oh my god. Uh, that is a failure. So he takes 16 seven cold. points of damage. So Matt, he is looking really bad. And his zombie friend uh, can't jump. So he takes the seven <laughs> colds. He is still standing, but he's also hanging by by a thread. He's also right in front of Gaius. So with he my is. free hand, mm -hmm. we'll go ahead and uh, radiant blast that there big Zambo over there. You got Pew. it. Pew. Uh, that's a 17 to hit for 11 radiant damage. 11 radiant damage. Kaboom. Oh, right. He's gone. He is you, d -d 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 dead. You aim your shot, and as he's raising up his weapon to, like, he's so, he's trying to get the other zombie out of the way to get at Gaius, and as he's, like, trying to shove the zombie, you fire, and, like, you, you kind of pin his arm to the wall with the ice knife, and then just full on just fire a barrage of shots into his chest. Lights out. There, that's my pun. That's turn. <laughs> 
All righty. East Gend, is that in your turn? It does indeed. It is the the last stand, the final zombie. The final zombie. zombie. Uh, that is 16 to hit you, Gaius. That matches my AC. Uh, the final stand. He is absolutely <laughs> going at you. Those top you, two zombies are going like the in. assholes in this group. You take five points of bludgeoning damage as he punches you in the chest. Heat Haze Shadow starts playing as he electrics Gaius. <laughs> <laughs> that ends you have alerted Gaius. Milo, it is Electric now your turn. Electric Wind fist me, you fuck! <laughs> <gasps> Go down! Um, <laughs> Get him, Milo. Oh, I don't think I can reach. Uh, let me double check. The zombie's like, you guys ever see this really old Does movie? Doesn't it have 30 feet of movement? Uh, 20. Oh, it's 20. Yeah. I thought it was 50. Yeah, okay, we, I can make it. Let's just slide on over there and bonk him in the back of the head <laughs> as bonus action. Swoosh. Bonk. Swoosh. Swoosh. Uh, clank. Oh, that's another. Oh, uh, net oh, oh <laughs> Lord. <laughs> I'm glad that's I'm holding back. Four. You bookended tonight. The, oh, 50 The comeback of the century stifled by a one clank in the back of the head. Clong. Wow, these guys never got their undead fortitude <laughs> off, I think, ever. You swing and, like, Jesus Christ. Uh, you hit him so hard in the head that the top half of his torso splits in two, and he crumples to the ground. Dead. Excellent. He split that zombie in two. And as all of you kind of pant, taking stock, you look into the room they were all stored in, and what mysteries lie there within... And that I is where know. we're going to end the session. For the Yay! Week. We held Ooh, back, gang. We did it, man. I was gonna, I was gonna five L two M two H six H into one fourteen M five M five H five S H L two H into convert two three six two H six X X factor. And that is exactly yeah. why Zito's a bigger nerd. I rest Zito, my case. Zito, Jesus, think, you suck my. I rest just, my case. And to think this fight that was a fight over. This fight would have been over instantly if Milo had just quarter circle forward punch. Uh, you know. One good Hadouken. <laughs> Fucking simple One good control Hadouken. nerds. I can't believe clipped, this. You guys could have just clipped through the wall to avoid the encounter. Uh, I course, tried. Of course, of course Milo's out here doing fucking modern controls. God damn. <laughs> hey, it, it doesn't Listen, make I don't sense. <laughs> I, I don't like spamming projectiles. I have to jump at a light fierce sometimes. All I did was a fucking light Virgil combo. That's not hard. <laughs> All I did was an 87 hit combo. Oh, no, all I did was sword combo with activation. I like need Pepto Bismol. Either which way, we should get out of here. Gaijin Goomba, where can they yeah. find you? What are you up to? Twitch.tv such Gaijin Goomba, no H. Helldivers 2, it's very, very good when you're able to log in. Mm -hmm. uh, more Skagen and Fragen in uh, Quake 2 at some point. Um, I'm still on the look out for funny good japanese games a couple are in the pipeline but nothing's come out yet uh new video talking about the very first yandere from the year 906 um and how how it relates to romeo and juliet and how it's become such a weird twisted concept now uh i'm very tired it's it's more interesting than i described it i promise you but uh yeah that's me Fair enough. Mark Allen Jr., where can they find you? What are you up to? You can find me on Twitter and Blue Sky at Mark Allen Jr., here on Twitch at Aeon Pro Tech Gaming, find me on TikTok at Mark Allen Jr. VA, and follow the adventures of my fat sleepy cat bunny on Instagram at Chonk for Life. Uh, music commissions are still open, so if you're interested, please shoot me a message. Um, I would love to bring your musical ideas to life. Uh, if you're not sure what my uh, musical skills might entail, uh, there are quite a few VODs on my Twitch channel. Uh, you can also find me on SoundCloud at uh, imaj-2. You'll find, like, everything up there. Most of the three-hour music challenges I've done are uploaded on there as well. And speaking of, Sunday, 3 p.m. Central Time, will be the three-hour music challenge stream. I will spin a wheel of genres. The genre that we get will be made into a song in three hours. I have three hours to make a song in that genre. We have a lot of fun. Uh, who knows what we might make this weekend. So come on by. We'll make some music. It'll be fun. Other than that, right uh, check out Geek by Night. You can hear me as the Ire. I'm happy to return to that show after like a three-year hiatus. 
Uh, lots of fun. Yeah. Check it out. Uh, and next week, I'll have some spoilers for you. So this is your warning. Watch it this week. Otherwise, you'll be spoiled next week. Okay. Uh, I'm done. Right on. Zito, where can they find you? And what are you up to? You can find me confirming these sword loops at twitch.tv slash Zito. <laughs> Fuck, the combo's not hard. Chat, I'm posting it in nerd. chat. Nerd. The combo's not hard. Ner Fuck this is, listen, that looks like a math equation, nerd. That is so simple. Anyway, you can find me over at twitch.tv slash Zito, where I will either play indie games or actually, you'll catch me doing way more commission work because I just realized what part of the month it is and I got to make a little bit more cash to make myself at least feel a little bit safe for this month. So I'll be doing commission work on stream. Uh, I will most likely be also be playing Lethal Company modded because there are some really yeah. good mods if you look at it. There is a clown world. You're on there your own for that one. Sorry. There is a nope. There is a clown um. moon. It's not even. There, there's no clowns in it. I can't put clown monsters in it. All it is is literally a bunch of big top tents that lead into a facility. Uh, beyond that. Uh, please check out my Patreon over at uh, uh, Zito is Nito, which is the name of the Patreon. Uh, I am back on the horse for uh, doing uh, homebrew 5e tabletop. Uh, new player options, uh, lots of new magic items, lots of new uh, subclasses, and most importantly, some new playable races to add so a little bit of pep in your step if you're getting too tired with everything that's in source. 15 new funky little fellas for which you can enjoy with. I've seen people play test them. It's mostly a lot of the uh, races that people know that I have made. So you'll get like the definitive updated versions of those, like the Namir, the the Imps, the Froblin. Yes, you have a Frog Goblin. They will be in there and they will have new stuff added to them. Right on. Also, Zito just casually posting my sleeper cell agent activation code in the chat. <laughs> it's okay. He didn't end it with November, so you're fine. Oh, a basic. Okay. I see. I see. Up uh, your your sleeper is a basic active activation for Virgil. Yes. You know what? That tracks for you. Double my cry, baby. What the fuck does that mean? Anyway. Play fucking Marvel and find out. <laughs> I don't think I will. Uh. Monty, where can they find you? What are you up to? Oh my god, you can find me tomorrow streaming with Draco. Uh, I'll be shiny hunting nose passes. <laughs> Sorry, what was that? I didn't. Can you say that a little louder, more clearly? I have to catch 13 nose passes, specifically nose pass. shiny nose passes. Nose pass. Nose pass. Sounds fun. Yeah. <laughs> like the lobotomy is fun. I mean, um, it might be at first. <laughs> Uh, Friday, we'll be finishing up uh, Realm Reborn Hildebrand. And then Monday, hopefully, some more Mass Effect. We got a lot of character quests to do. Right on. And Robosco, where can they find you? What are you up to? You can find me at Ed Bosco VA on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. I'm right here on twitch.tv slash Ed Bosco. I just want to shout out the YouTube channel. I appreciate all the comments the last couple of weeks. I read them. You're loved. We appreciate you. We make fun of everybody, though. So we'll see you in the comments. Sometimes. Uh, I believe that's everybody except for me. And they can find me on Twitter, Twitch, YouTube, Tumblr, and Blue Sky at Distortion Devil. I stream Tuesdays, Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays. Uh, this Sunday, we're going to be playing some Darksiders, uh, the game that was voted for uh, by the viewers uh, at the end of Deus Ex. So we'll be revisiting that series uh, as well. Uh, probably going to be wrapping up Yakuza Like a Dragon either this week or next week. I'm not sure, but... Uh, better yeah. tune in. Also, check out my DMs Guild for 5th uh, edition homebrew that I make. Uh, as well, uh, this episode was brought to you in part by Die Hard Dice. Die Hard Dice! Ah. Your one-stop shop for dice and dice accessories. Head on over to dieharddice.com, use the code UNEXPECTABLES to save 10% on your order. As well, check out our merch store. We've got all sorts of designs that you can basically turn into anything you want. You want hats, you want stickers, you want apparel, 
water bottles, mugs, get it over at our store for all your unexpectables related swag. Why you can buy yourself you can buy yourself a workout shirt in memory of Wark who died. He's not Can't believe he's dead. fucking dead. He's just sleeping. Get those gains for his life. I'm gonna fix that, don't you worry. To live on. Uh Yes, we also couldn't do this weekend we got without bits and subs from viewers like you. Uh, ha, wh where, do we, where do we leave off? Uh, I believe it was a one bit from Wolfwing, I think. Ah, boy. All right. Uh, do, 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 do. Let me see. Uh, nope, that's probably not it. Hang on. I'm going to refresh this bitch. Refresh this bitch. Re, 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 refresh. There we go. Mikan Pachi, thank you for the 20 bits. My only disappointment with it being topaz instead of yellow is that Milo can't cook it. What? Damn. Explain. That's quitter talk. You um, can eat any rock if you try it. Actually, no, I don't want to. <laughs> no, you already right. got him go eating dice. No, I know. Go that's why I stopped. I'm like, no. I, this is I slowly raise my D6 with a questionable look on my face, Monty. Animals in nature sometimes do uh, eat rocks. I'm not uh, a dog. Their digestion. That's true. Also, some cultures uh, put flavoring on rocks and then just suck the flavor off the rocks and spit the rocks oh, out. Oh, I've seen that. The ultimate diet food. Um, Callum draws, thank you for the 10 bits. I imagine whenever Wark connects to a warp circle, it's like whenever you connect to a tower in Breath of the Wild. That's oh, what yeah. I thought. Goss21, thank you for the 10 bits. This is a weird game of Lethal Company. <laughs> Stop. Uh, Milo, why'd you pull the apparatus out? We just got here. Because suffer, I make light. Content. <laughs> Asmodai Storm, thank you for the 250 bits. Just wanted to say thank you guys for being you. This channel and 40k lore really helps get through Night Shift with a smile. Aww. Aww. Appreciate you. Ground on Night, thank you for the 8 bits. Ace Bounty, thank you for the 145 bits. So I don't know if it's just me, but Gem Dragons remind me of a book series called Dragon of Deltora, which is the third set of Deltora quests series of books. Huh. I've never heard of such. I also have not heard of that. Uh, Balder 1918, I love your gate. Thank you for the 100 bits. Uh, Shine Greymon, thank you for the 45 months. Yo! So so happy that Shin Megami Tensei 5 Vengeance got announced today. God, Man. people forgot about that game so hard and it sucks. Uh, I've heard it's pretty good. Avion no, Fan, good. for the bit. Kai and Wark running into the room like Han Solo with the Stormtroopers. Someone actually did an edit of that in the... <laughs> yep, basically. ...in the Discord. 20 BMG, thank you for the 40 months. Xanalus Grim, thank you for the 100 bits. Shut up, Mark. What? Wow. Yeah! Uh, Zenlita, thank you for the 100 bits. Episode title, Undead Men Can't Jump. <laughs> Axios Riot, thank you for the 39 months of Prime. Uh, pity I missed the entire stream. Time to catch the VOD on the drive home. Do it. See uh, you in the future. Cyrus Einsla, thank you for the five bits episode title. Uh, it's a long ass title, if you want me to say. The Good Tendies, He Was Here, or The Crystal Prison. Oh, these are three separate ones. Oh. You're breaking, the, you're skirting the line. My yeah, brain. We need, we need an episode title. What's wrong? Uh, the Game Master Eric, thank you for the Raven Party of Five. How's it going? River Rat, thank you for the 100 bits. Episode title, Rotten to the Core. Ooh, that one's pretty good. That Zanalus one's really Grim. good. Thank you for the additional 100 bits. Great session, everyone. Bosco was there, too. Wow. <laughs> that track. I mean, it's true. What the Calendar fuck? Ross, thank you for the 20 bits. Episode title, Unknown Encounter. Uh, Rar Hockey Dude, think of the 200 bits episode title, uh, Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> uh, I mean, that's fair. Correct. 
<laughs> yeah. Technically correct, the best kind. Mm -hmm. uh, Stellar Coyote, thank you for the 100 bits. How to do a war crime, chapter one. The weak <laughs> defenseless make great practice for your soldiers. Have them start on kids before moving up to the sick and elderly. No. Oh, oh my god. god. Uh, Callum Dross, thank you for the 30 bits. Uh, you say you pulled a Virgil combo, but with all the weapons guys is using, he's more of a Dante. I can't wait for him to use Skydance. I never played Dante. I played Virgil. Good at Well, Dante was more fun, but Virgil was better. Guys, yeah, so that, that's yeah. Unfo unfortunately. I am. I am looking at the meta perspective of it. It's like you, damn you, right. Unfortunately, if I unless I want to just do ZMC, which God, I should just stop playing. <laughs> Hit him with the yeah. Uh, toxic as fuck ZMC. Callum draws thank you for the additional thirty bits. Why 30 are bits. wyverns boring teachers? Their lectures tend to drag on. Hey. Minus minus eight. Plus two. Just to balance that a little bit. Are wyverns no. draconids? No. Oh, yes. not. <sighs> they are draconic. Hmm. Uh Bob Bob, thank you for the five hundred bits. Title suggestion A query quarry. Quarry? Like I like that. Box? I like that's, that's, that's really cute. fucking good. Yeah, yeah. it's not bad. That's the, really good. Killer the, Chansey. The quarry query is that no, what query it? Quarry. no the query quarry. Query quarry. Query quarry. Killer Chansey, thank you for the ten bits. Episode title: Abandoned by God. <laughs> Dice ruler, thank you for the six bits. Everyone at the door, open sesame. Zombies looking at them. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Calendar I just regret having not bits. walked the dinosaur. Mm -hmm. Hi, boy. Hello. We're going to be going oh. upstairs soon. Frankie's down here. Doc. Uh, Callum draws thinking for the 20 bits. Salt is just an edible rock, right? Yeah. Technically. Yeah. 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 Uh... Dreadlord Bedrock, thank you for the 47 months. Del Toro is my jam. It's Fantasy Australia written by an Australian. All the monsters are terrifying. Ooh. That makes sense. Gosh dang it. Should have seen it coming. Hey, Lale. Welcome to Fantasy <laughs> Australia. <laughs> it's, like the re it's like the real Australia, except it's magic. <laughs> Fantasy. Fucking magic everywhere. Playing the real Australia isn't magical. Uh, fucking dragons, I guess. Yeah, fucking dragons out here breathing fire. <laughs> <and shit. laughs> uh, and finally, Cirrus Ainsla, thank you for the bit. Fucking typos, Connor. They have been my bane ever since I made Zan into Canada. <laughs> you turned Zan into Canada? The whole wow. country? Turn him back. I know. Give we me need him. Back. Put him back. It doesn't belong to you. Oh man, we have a lot of people we could raise. Mm, we I, do. I do. We do. I do be. I have quite a few. Um, I have Therapod with seven viewers though, and I have Bracky playing Persona. I have. I, I would it, love to raid a Persona player. We also have Sheru at twenty as well. I was gonna suggest Sheru yeah. actually because mm -hmm. we haven't raided her in a while. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. Let's do that. All right, let's raid Sheru. What should our raid yeah. message be? Unknown. Unknown. <laughs> I like your unknown. Rocks. Unknown in all caps. Unknown. Yeah. Unknown. Oh, space, space out, space out every single letter. Oh. <laughs> unknown in bio. Oh my god. <laughs> what the fuck? All right, get out of here, all you. Oh, you scamps. Damn it, you know what? <laughs> I'll put your lights at. Yeah, oh no. Put your fucking lights at. Hey, put uh, your fuck.